Hey guys, welcome to episode 153. That's 153 of 4 player anime cast i am your host spire and we are here with a very very exciting episode i'm i like i'm actually anticipating this one and it's been you know not just as a preview but as a very very just exciting and unique preview i think in and of itself um but yeah as i just said we are covering the fall 2020 anime season it is Still in the middle of the pandemic, I know America has it much harder than um, a lot of the other countries, and a lot of the other countries are recovering. But there is the flu season coming in, there is the second wave coming in, so everybody's still kind of hunkering down. But uh, we've got quite a surprise on our hands still. Anyways, uh, again, I've been mostly been doing real life stuff, doing my usual, you know, uh, translations, kind of uh what was it i think i there's been a couple of other like visual novels and stuff coming out recently that i really wanted to do uh or play through but then i kind of ended up going back to punko sakama or the ditzy devils are the, the the ditzy demons are in love with me and finishing around of that for some god forsaken reason although i don't like it <laughs> it's but um i did that um that i haven't been up to too much but yeah uh with me are my compatriots as per usual dark hey how's it going uh near hi and toast we should all go around and say who our favorite hollow live english vtuber is right now <laughs> they debut. You know. uh i'll go first mine's good. calliope actually i'm not Jesus. i'm actually pretty surprised oh no 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 T- toast has been so, you know how um, two about around two weeks back, or you know one or two episodes ago, we were Toast kept saying in his sort of two week overview uh, that we do at the beginning of every podcast that all he did pretty much during those two weeks was watch Hall Live and virtual YouTuber streams, and we were sitting there doubting him right near, and uh, <laughs> we were just like, uh, "All right, come on, yeah, whatever." So <laughs> I didn't doubt him for a second. No, 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 no. Well, I didn't doubt I did. me either. I mean, but, hey, man, but... when Miko was still streaming, that's all I was watching for a while. I, what was it during? When, when was the debut? It was like a couple of days ago, right? Like three or four days Five ago, or right? Six. The I don't end know. debut was like, like yeah, yeah, about a week. Let, let's point. say let's say five plus days ago, right? So they were. <laughs> So there was a bunch of, you know, virtual YouTubers debuting in, like, the same day or, like, over the span of two days, um, about five-plus days ago. And literally all I saw <laughs> in the DMs was this being like, oh, shit, is this stream coming up? I gotta watch this. And a couple of hours later, he's like, oh, man, this is the next stream coming up. I gotta watch this. Doing <laughs> literally hours, what the man. Reddit told him not to do. And then, and then after that, I was just like, Toast, did you literally spend like 24 hours watching just like cascading streams of debuting VTubers? And he was like, yes. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, I really Sim- got to watch those debut streams. Sivia oh, only streamed like word. once a week, so I had to watch Sivia's stream, and then the debut streams, Jesus and, I, and then the collab stream, and then an Artia stream, and I was like, all right. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Anyways, Toast had a great time these past two weeks. Also, again, watching all the VTubers, I'm sure. Uh, I don't think I need to know too Spire, much more Spire. of what Toast has been up to. Is yeah. your favorite ni- ni- Nina Mai because she can speak Korean? I, I, I mean, I don't think it has much to do with whether she can, whatever language she can speak, but she seems to have a pretty quiet demeanor, which I, I'm, I guess I'm not you know i'm okay with um check check out that sweet animation she did and all her art she's pretty good yeah i mean she's an established artist yeah she's an established artist (laughs) it's almost like she's an artist imagine (laughs) anyways uh dark what about you what have you been up to these past two weeks um fuck what have i been up to i've been uh as far as anime goes, I haven't really been keeping up with a lot because I'm on um 
I'm on keto again now, so I've just been oh, like dieting keto. hard as fuck. I'm hitting the gym every single day, every damn nice. day, you know, masked up. In the gym for about an hour. Grind. Yeah, I've been doing about like 20 minutes, maybe a little bit more cardio, a little bit more stairs, and then uh, doing about like 30, 40 minutes of lifting, trying to just get back into it and stay away from people while I'm there and shit. Good stuff, good stuff. But, uh, so I've been keeping up with a whole lot, um, because it just kind of like sucks doing something that's like normally extremely enjoyable, but. You know, like I'm just sitting there like, you know, I could watch it now or I could save it for like a month and a half from now. <laughs> and then I can like watch it while I'm like not miserable or tired. Right. There's that. <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad, but it's just like, I don't know, kind of like got myself into the rhythm of eating like pizza or something or like just garbage and watching anime during covid uh, so all uh, right yeah it now is it's like it doesn't like... feel it doesn't feel yeah. right yeah 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 for sure okay okay but yeah doing? other than that um i i watched uh 30 seconds of uh calliope stream and i'm never watching another english uh, vtuber ever again <laughs> Uh, well, well yeah, not, not a not, fan of the rap. Was it her? Was it her rap? Her yeah, other, yeah, no, it was the rap. I dude, didn't... no, they're not, dude. Her and lyrics are fucking cringe as shit, are dude. Good. Like her lyrics are pretty legitimately good. cringe. Like I was listening to the, some of the covers of them too, because she has that contest going on now, and like it doesn't matter who's singing it. Like it, it sounds like shit because the lyrics just fucking suck. <sighs> The thing is, the thing. Can, you can know, Nier's out I, here listening to more songs without me. <laughs> can we? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I really. To I'll, together, I'll, bro. I, I, I mean, we do have to have the actual preview show, but I think it would be. Um, I think it would be interesting to have a, a tiny discussion, just like a tiny tangent on this. And by tiny, I mean we'll probably spend end up spending forty five minutes on this right now. But uh, uh, uh I mean, hey I mean, man, we, we got like what twenty shows <laughs> to go through or something. Well. Like, well, I just wanted to say that, um, like, I'm sort of being a devil's advocate and sort of not, but it's like when we have like anime songs, right? For instance, like you know, Misuki Nana or Hitomi Harada or whoever, right? Harada Hitomi, right? Um, and we have these anime songs or anime songs, whatever, right? Plenty of these lyrics are. I mean, they're not like, wow, amazing fucking stuff, right? <laughs> like, like there, there's like J-pop sort of Yurushika, you know, whatever, back number, wherever, you know, yeah, these things. Yeah, but like, the thing is, okay lyrics, but then like these, these anime songs have prettier like, oh, we got to get together and fucking punch the enemy and stuff like that, right? So Yeah, but I'm not judging yeah. the Japanese lyrics. I'm judging her, like... English lyrics. Which no, are what, like I, what I'm saying, what I'm bad. saying is like, what I'm saying is like, um, when we listen to the anime songs in Jap Japanese, like, let's assume that we know the lyrics, like the general gist of the lyrics, right? And they're like, like we're we we were listening to the Japanese like Digimon opening or something, some some shit like that, right? And that's all like, oh, we gotta have the courage to fucking unite and whatever, right? Um. So, I'm not saying that, like, oh, your opinion is wrong or bad, but I'm curious, I'm just really curious as to, like, why we get this feeling of, like, when we listen to Calliope and, her, and she's doing her fucking songs or, or whatever, it's cringe, and I agree with you, I feel the cringe too, but then when we were listening to, you know, Minsuke Nana or these Digimon OPs or whatever, right, we're not feeling as much cringe. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's like the weird weeby mixing of two languages. Um, maybe, <laughs> oh, wait, maybe... wait, did she actually mix up the two languages? Yeah. Yes, she mixes Japanese and English into mm. her song. Like, okay. like she really she weird. literally has, like, one of the hooks to her, I think, first song is Murder is so fucking kawaii. Mm. And, like, she, she pronounces it with a very, like, thick English accent. Like, she's not... 
like when she's mixing the two, she's pronouncing it like as like fucking Juna. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. like it's it's cringe, bro. Like Damn, dude, it's I want bad. Juna cover now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think I think there's definitely something to be said about just like the the cringe is also based upon sort of the cultural context, right? Because it's like we have, I mean, even even something like you know stuff that was popular, let's say ten years ago, that you know, let's say Breaking Benjamin or something like that, right? Um, is not necessarily like the lyrics would be like these days. It would be like, uh. Eh. All right, let's let's not do this. Let's put this to the side. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, or like prayer of the refugee kind of stuff, right? Um, but then, like, I guess I guess in Japanese because it's like the anime culture is already kind of there, and we're just like, yeah, we might as well just go along for the ride. And also in Japan, you know, in Korea and China, whatever, like the use of English is already so like just to be like cool or whatever, modern, hip, whatever the fuck, right? Is already so pervasive, right? Like, um, there was this one thing I noticed where it was like, usually like Japanese or Korean or Chinese songs will be like, blah blah blah. They'll say they'll sing some like sentence in Japanese, and then like the next line or like the next part of it will be like in English or something like that, right? Yeah. So I mean, I, was, I mean, I was, a I full was part though is like no, no, no different. So, so no, I, I mean, a lot of a lot of Korean rap has like just single words in English yeah. too, because like sometimes they'll just use the word in English to be like, this rhymes. Yeah. Right? Well, 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 what I what I also wanted to say was like it's gotten like super pervasive, and I was like, I was listening to um the new song out by BTS called like Dynamite or whatever, and then I was listening to the lyrics. I was like. Wait a minute, where's the Korean in this? And there's literally not a single word of Korean in that song. It's all right. English. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, are we just at the point where we're just like, okay, we just do whatever with English, right? So it, well, like, at least to in be, between, to Korean be fair, and Japanese. BTS, right? Like it's the global, funny. yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> a global phenomenon. They no, can exactly. get away with a song in English, right? But but I was still kind of like thinking uh, along those lines, right? Like we've gotten to this sort of like cultural. Tolerancy, toler, uh, tolerability in in Korea and Japan, at least, where it's like, yeah, you just kind of use English, whatever, right? And it's like, and it's kind of like a cultural norm to to kind of mix and match, right? Whereas in um in English, right, it's not really. Other than the loan words that are already existent, really in the English diction, right, that or have been like sayonara, right? Um, it's not really a cultural norm to be kind of slipping in words, right? <laughs> like to be like kawaii or whatever. Right? I mean, well, but, also, I mean, English as a language, there's not really going to ever be a reason to. Right, like well, well, it's there are very slip few in, but words it's like, in existence yes. that, like, I mean, an there can English be, word doesn't fit that already. There can be well, reasons. Gonna slip to... it there's gonna be there's gonna be loan words anyways, but it's not it's not a it's not a cultural phenomenon. I think for English speakers to actively take in like words in the mainstream from another language you know what i mean because it's like there was there was almost a sort of like reason for korean for japanese for chinese people to take in english actively right actively take in english words yeah um culturally right but other than you know otaku or weaves or otaku or whatever right being you know, wanting to speak the Naruto language, the language of the Narutos, right? There is no cultural general reason, general cultural reason for English speakers to take in Japanese or to take in sushi. Korean or whatever, right? Yeah, <laughs> except yeah. to describe I mean, food, obviously, yes. Yeah, yeah. The only real, the only real I was going more for the Sakura Con commercial. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the only real reason to like slip, you know, um, Japanese or Korean or whatever, you know, Asian languages, um, or even like, I guess other languages in general into like an Engl predominantly English uh, speaking song, I guess, um, is for the aesthetic, right? Which, right, right. I mean, 
or to describe I, something I, pretty specific. Yeah, I guess. But like it, you know, just the aesthetic purpose like alone doesn't exactly invalidate it, right? Like, you know, obviously there can be people out there that like that dynamic between, you know, slipping between languages and it's on. Um but with Calliope, I, I don't know, man. I think it's just the delivery. Like it just sounds fucking cringe. Like just the way do you think? Do you think? Do you think the way you, she's singing, the way she's pronouncing the words, it's just like something about it just makes me go, "This is a fucking weeaboo." Like, the, you the know thing what I mean? Is, the, the thing is, the, I like, mean, it's already like a weeb rap, which is enough of a fucking horrible thing to even hear to begin with. Yeah, I don't know. It just gives off the same vibe as like fucking uh, Minecraft parody song. You know, the, where the thing, a dude is about, is, the, like, rapping about mining diamonds and shit. You know what the, I mean? The thing is, like, this is going to be as close as it gets to it being more or less accepted, right? In the current, in the current like, atmosphere, right? Like, we have uh, a bunch of people who are audiences of VTubers, which is already, like, anime, and they're already going, you know, Xa, what, you know, wait, English, wait, Japanese what meme, do you mean blah, accepted? Blah, blah. Like, which is accepted? Like no, the language this is, this mix is, or the anime rap acceptance? The the sort of culture in which this sort of thing might be accepted, right? Because it's like it's because it's like okay, the the initial situation, right, before all of this, is that we go in, let's say, to an anime convention, we see some person trying to, you know, speak the speak the language of the Naruto's, right? Or trying to do some make up some weird, you know, English Japanese rap, right? And we'd be like I don't want to be near that guy for the next uh, however however many hours I'm in this at this convention, right? <laughs> I don't want to be near that guy. Is is what we're thinking, right? Yeah. But then in this environment, I, I'd argue, right, is the closest we'll probably get within you know with you know within years of making that sort of thing sort of in socially culturally acceptable, right? In a sense, right? Because it's like we're we're sort of in this hermetic, not hermetically sealed, but it's, it's we're in this environment in this where you know Western fans or non-Japanese fans of VTubers are kind of already in this sphere, right? Where they're where they're already talking their own lingo and they're already like, yeah, Korean or like so or Japanese English, whatever memes all mingling together, all you know whatever is happening, right? And they're okay calling each other simps or whatever the fuck is going on, right? And we're already in this environment where all of this sort of degeneracy is okay, right? So in this environment, we still saw this and we were like, mm, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, none of this, please. I mean, for right? me, it's like a detachment on multiple levels, right? Like, not to from, get from the too YouTubers crazy, and, huh? Right. Are a detachment from the speed tuber sphere? No, I mean, well, I guess I just mean like a detach. Like, there's so many like fucking pieces here that are just like not mixing. Where it's like, right. no, I agree. This I, is I agree. rap music. This is like a, like this is a. I don't even want to say. What would you say normally or like expectedly or something like African American music. Then you're taking it, and it's like you're throwing in Japanese words. You're not no. Hold rapping on about you're like, like what typically typically the subject matter of rap to begin with. Usually isn't about you know your fucking like anime bullshit. So so what I'm wondering oh, is it's just like there's so many I, levels to it where I'm like I what I'm wondering is like if, if we're if we're already re we're if we're rejecting this and we can reject this or not whatever that's that's more of our sort of aesthetics right it's like yeah. what I'm what I'm trying to get at the question I'm trying to get at is arguably this is the closest we'll ever get to setting up like an acceptable stage for where this or setting up a stage for where this sort of thing is accepted right where a stage where we could see this sort of stuff and you know someone like Nier would be like it's a little bit weird but okay i guess right but we didn't so what i'm wondering is is there do you think you know within the next you know one or two years say will there be any point at which we'll look at this sort of thing in any sort of context and be like 
Hmm. This is okay. <laughs> um, this is the question. For me I don't personally. Know. I can go. You, you, yeah, you go first. Okay. I was gonna say for me personally, it's like kind I don't know. Like for like I'm kinda like the one word shit and like not even pronouncing it right is like fucked for me, right? Like I, I don't know. Oh, because even, you know how it like, sounds with Japanese, right? Yeah, yeah, but also even like Japanese songs were like their entire like you know sentences in English and shit. Huh. Like that, I think is fine. I think it still stands out more to me and is like slightly stranger to me if it's like they just drop like one word, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's still more like kind of takes me out of it, mm -hmm. but. You know, like, I've listened to, like, Mia V songs or something where he has, like, one sentence will be in, like, Japanese and the next one will be in English. But it's, like, right. full, like, <laughs> transitions, like, between the two. But, like, one word stuff is, like, always kind of strange to me. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, this became even more of a thing. Like, Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's not, like, even in up. music or in rap, like, for just even people who aren't like sort of trying to appease to that group don't use it. Like there is what, two years ago or something, maybe three, like a killer Mike album. He'd sampled Hatsune Miku for like the entire song part for parts of it. So it's like, I wouldn't be that surprised if we get closer and closer to that, but I don't know. Just every piece of this coming together just rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm like, okay, didn't like it. Uh, what about you? You 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 said that. So it's it's weird for me because like the like I said earlier, we kind of see the logic and what where we're trying to go. Right? The but the aesthetic to... for me of like you know the the English Japanese bilingual like whatever the rap right right I get the aesthetic. Right? Like, I, yeah. I understand the appeal. Um, you know, like, I could, I could listen to, like, I guess, Korean rap or Japanese rap that, you know, heavily mixes in English to the point where, like, it's like half and half or something. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, it's something about the way Calliope is doing it, right? Where... I think I think I it's don't that, know if it's, well, it's also the, the subject matter too. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's like specifically the subject matter. I don't know if it's the way she's singing the lyrics, but like all of it, like on top of, like you know, compounded into the songs she sings. It sounds like Minecraft parody songs to me. So like, so what I what I kind of want to say is like I kind of thought a chance I kind of thought about this or kind of. This thought popped up to me while you guys were, uh, while you and Dyke were talking, but it's like, um, maybe it's not even necessarily specifically the subject matter, but it's the fact, it's more, it's a little bit more meta than that, right? It's the fact that we're looking over each other's shoulders while talking about this subject matter, right? Where it's like, because in, in the English speaking culture, as of yet, like even even amongst anime fans, even amongst VTuber fans, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? There's this thing where it's like, if we talk about anime or whatever too indulgently, right? We, if we kind of give in to that stuff, we're being a little bit, you know, too much, too, a little bit too much on the nose or a little bit too degenerate or whatever, right? Um, and so what I'm kind of thinking is that Maybe it's not even necessarily the rap subject or the song, the subject of the song or the purport, the ratios of, you know, uh, Japanese to English or whatever. Maybe it's the fact that it's just like some time down the road, if we can just get people to like, not only just like the VTuber community, not just the anime community, but I guess like the community, like the, the general like English speaking community at large to not be looking over our shoulders or not be kind of like oh you're saying kawaii or you're saying kakoi or whatever that shit's f like why the fuck are you saying that the moment we can kind of 
not have that, put that off to the side, is the point where you know, this sort of song becomes acceptable. Does that make sense? So it's almost think, like a catch twenty two, right? It's like you, it's like you say having, that, right? But like earlier, I want to hear that earlier. You you <laughs> use the example are you? of like. An, an anime con right like that is the environment where like you stop looking over your shoulder right like you embrace your fan right but the, th- but, but the thing but what the i'm thing saying is, is I, I agree even if but, somebody's doing that and an anime con you're still like that's fucking cringe bro stop no, what i'm saying what yeah, i'm like, saying i don't is, like that, that being a not... part of the fan to begin with what, what i'm saying is that is like right now it is almost like a mental sort of like it's it's like a mental like restraint on all of us, right? Because we all kind of know deep inside, regardless of whether we go to an anime convention, regardless of you know whoever's like, oh no, this is just the maid cafe. Nobody will ever like. Even if like, let's say like near, even if somebody was like, you know, led you to this maid cafe, and they were like, nobody will ever know what you did in this maid cafe. You can do all the weeby whatever i love you know re-zero blah 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 shit that you want nobody will ever say anything um what goes on this may cafe will stay in this may cafe you would still kind of abstain from doing cringe stuff right because you have this inherent like hmm like i don't know about this weep stuff but right you yeah you're, are those you're like are those like raising <laughs> this as if like this is something that's like I don't know, like, the way you're saying that to me is, like, weird, right? What, what, what I'm saying because, is, like, I can go it. to a maid cafe, and, like, I'm not going to sit there and be, like, sweating and be like, I better not say fucking kawaii. It's like, no, I'm just not going to say that. Like, why would I say that? Well, well what I'm saying is <laughs> that, that that it's, like, that sort of, like... That's like, I don't know about that shit, bro. Or like, you know, that sort of thing almost just comes from the fact that we've sort of all been induced, right, into being like, let's not do that. Right, it's like let's 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 kind of. Uh, I mean, I don't like, know if I've been in this. Dude, like we are like, like <laughs> you're 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 making no, it sounds like you're making us out to be like the bad guys here, like. No, 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 restraining saying, no, people, it's, it's, and it's like no, it's not. It's not. we it, it, I don't know, like, man. Like, I ain't speaking the language right now, so there's. It's like it's like what no we're, reason we're, for me to be dropping that shit. It, it's like what people said about you know old like old um, you know you know old days in, in fighting games and arcades, right? It's like why did people not just why weren't there people you know that were like why didn't everybody just use throws all the time or just do like really fucking like cheesy shit to just kill everybody for like 50 games it's because everybody was sort of looking over their shoulders being like let's not do that okay <laughs> kind of that sort of stuff right is is sort of what i'm wondering is maybe what's all what could also be going on here the way you're like- phrasing this i'm envisioning it like it's fucking rock lee like opening the limiters in his fucking yeah he he unlocks the last limiter and he starts gaining chromosomes like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, like what-, <laughs> what i'm saying is like if if it's because cause it's like if it's so hard to sort of for us to pinpoint what exactly it is about, you know, all this, you know, anime rapper like specific use of the word like Japanese or whatever. I mean, the pronunciation part is like, like I, I can get behind that or whatever. Um, but like beyond that, if it's like if it's very hard to pinpoint down what the subject or what exactly why these specific I mean, I words can, or whatever, it might it, be kind of just, whatever. you know, us well, being I mean, like. The, you want the me to idea say it that I it's will. difficult, can, it's difficult to it right pin now. down why is kind of the problem. It's like, right? And, and what realistically, I'm is maybe like, one of the reasons why are you using this of... word? Like, <laughs> okay, so here, let me let me explain this. Yeah, part, let's okay? speak his piece. Because you guys have been going on for a while and you haven't been yeah. letting me talk. Oh, sorry. Brother. Apparently, so sorry. like, I can cut go. in, bro. Okay. So, you guys are arguing about. Calliope's music like it's some sort of American rap, right? It's not. It's Her genre mm-hmm. is Japanese rap because, as you all know, or I don't know, don't... She's been working with other Japanese rappers. Right. Mm-hmm. Mixing her lyrics and whatnot, not, like Tama Onsen, say, mm-hmm. Toho Dojin Group, who, who does Toho rap, 
And she's also she's also stated that one of her favorite games is the Persona series. Mm-hmm. And you know who's associated with Persona, right? Lotus Juice. Who's Lotus also Juice, really bad at rap. Did, Yeah, you've just described two horrible fucking raps. So, <laughs> I mean, okay, so apparently everyone hates all the Persona songs, right? Because those can be considered rap. Mass Destruction, that's kind of rapish, isn't it? Yeah, but like, you, people love the Persona series music, right? But like, yeah, that's a it's, rap. That's it's well rap. known within the fandom that like, the Lotus Juice raps are some of like, the goofiest, like, worst, like, performed lyrics, like, in the To be fair, the Persona raps aren't that good. So <laughs> well, I mean, just wrong? like, pretty much Lotus Juice that... as an artist, like, it, you see that name, and you're like, And like, oh, I mean, I, I watched, I watched Tyler Pace stream, like, she's working with talented people, sure, but again, like, my issue isn't that she is rapping, right? My issue is that, like, her accent is so, like, American sounding. That's that's totally mm, on yeah, you the then. Because Which, like, yeah, I mean, I never said, English, I never man. said like, oh, you know, it's bad that people like this. I said like this aesthetic that she has is like so like to me, I fucking like want to curl up and die when I'm like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, that's on me. That's my personal taste. I never said like you can't like her music. Mm-hmm. I said it's just, I don't like it. I'll take a hard stance and I'll you say know, I don't like, like that kind of rap and I think it sucks. Like I said I earlier, you, you know, like, like it. Like a mixing, mixing languages is fine, especially in rap, right? Because I feel like the flow of rap is very dynamic. You can mix pretty much whatever you want into it. Um, but something about the way Kelly, like, I don't know if it's the mixing, I don't know if it's just her singing, but I don't like it, right? Like, I'm not knocking anybody who likes that. Oh, but you guys have been like knocking it. me this about it. When? I will. I'll knock it. Yeah, there you go. I'll oh, keep saying that's fine, fine, with, that's fine with you, but if you if you want if you're gonna bring this up and I mean, if, you're gonna look, ignore my if points, you then... like Calliope's raps, you can like them. I think that you like bad raps then, because I think the raps are bad. That's just kinda how it goes. Like what I uh, what I what I do. I don't say think is, they're uh, good. My favorite my favorite takeaway from this was Dark hated the rap so much, he said he wanted the whole Hollow Live English branch to go down in flames. And I was like, <laughs> My okay, last man. snipe of the year, they're gone within 12 months. They're okay, gone by man. the end of the year, bro. They're gone. What, 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 what they I do probably understand. won't be, but all right. What, 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 what I want to say by is December. We're, we're just, uh, I mean, at this point, we're kind of. What I want to say place. is that okay. if, I mean, my takeaway is that she worked hard on this and people like it, and that's fine with me. So if you're if you don't like it and you're preaching that everyone should hate it, then like the heck's wrong. The heck's wrong with you, Twitter group. Um, well, I mean, if what, what are you doing? If she sounds like a bad dub, she's doing that on purpose because she's working with two different audiences here. There's the I, English audience. Look, I'm not going to give her at the time the, of day. There are plenty of like JP English raps that don't sound like that. And have better lyrics. Again, like, she has. She's working with two different. She's working with a viewer base here. It's not just, hey, I'm this random person who nobody knows. I'm gonna put out a song, and hopefully some people will like it. No, she's she's going to have an established user base. So she's like, all right, let's see what I can do with here. Do with this here. So I'm gonna. I speak. I speak I mean, English. So I'm gonna speak English this way. And I I live in Japan. I do this Japanese stuff. So I'm gonna do Japanese this way. And then throw in some word puns and whatnot. That's totally on her. She can do that if she wants. I'm not going to say that. Oh, you're bad for doing it this way. That's 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 just gatekeeping, man. If I, don't if I mean, good, I don't think it's gatekeeping to say like I just think the raps suck. Like I, I don't fine. know what you to can tell have you. Your own opinion on it, <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go around and say, hey, I totally hate this person in general. I'm not gonna watch your streams. That's fine with you. But don't don't make don't don't put it on me and say, hey, you shouldn't watch this because she sucks. I mean, I don't. Been doing I mean, I'm me, not so saying like, you whatever. shouldn't watch it. You can watch it, but what I'm saying is, I think the rap suck. Which means I don't think I I've think ever that said that watching something watch that like, like sucks. any of the YouTubers. <laughs> you say you say that near, but uh, it's been dark who's been saying it. So 
Well, I, I think at this point we're kind of repeating the points here. So I just want to, I guess, uh, kind of, kind of just. My stance it. is it's all right. I hope she does. All right, thank I you, hope Post. she approves. Um, but just yeah, Drew, what is it? What is it? Screw the haters. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> thank dark? you. All right, thank you, Toast. But uh, yeah, I mean, again, I I, I think uh, you know, some some of the points, obviously, uh, the dark and you made were pretty you know objectively you know they're like some of the pronunciation stuff is like obviously like if it's that's, awkward, that's if it's the awkward, obvious but, um, that's, well the pronunciation is obvious yeah i mean again it's like it's, it's objectively there but um i do i just wanted to kind of make go on this tangent because obviously again like uh, i i know you know i mean and, and you like, also every, you guys also would've... singled out calliope you guys haven't talked about the other four vtubers What's up with that? Uh, that's because okay. after Calliope, I didn't Yara, watch there, any there, of the there others. You go. See? If you want me to mention <laughs> them, um, Yara's awful at singing. This is uh, this is not okay. Look, look, like, like, like we they didn't yeah. mention them. They didn't mention them because the discussion was not necessarily about spreading love to different members of Hall Life Toast. It was the discussion was specifically as, as I want to point out why you know if, if maybe there was another reason and i'm sure you could also agree to this maybe there could be a, a more like sort of you know socially induced reason as to just like a random sort of like i don't like this kind of thing um that that could point to why we find it so awkward right so that's sort of what i was going and for you, and you sure. guys specifically singled out one person instead of saying what what are your opinions just... on the other four it was just an example. Look, it was just an example of how went too why far, we... and it's like it's been this. What is it? Like forty minutes so far. That's I not. Mean, that's not an example. I mean, that's we, a yeah, we kind of dissected the reason why we don't like the a rap. single person. But what about the other ones? Let's talk about the other. I mean, if you <laughs> not, the if, discussion is not. We're not like talking talk, about her. We're not as talking an about well, like we're not talking about her character. Like we're talking about the way she produced her songs. We're already done talking about her. Let's talk about the others. Okay. How do you guys okay, feel about the other Okay, I haven't watched them because uh, I don't want to. I've seen I like, think, clips. I think they're all very them. interesting people. Uh, I think All Live Ian is a very interesting group, and I hope they do really well because, like, the expansion of Hollow Live, like, into the English uh, audience, like, is only a good thing, right? Um, you know, some of them aren't really up to like my taste like watson is a little a bit obnoxious for me but i like kiara uh the shark is you know decent to watch um i forget um you know my that's her name right she's cool um you know they're all interesting people but uh like my my biggest the problem with me with callie i guess is that she was like the first impression right she was the first to debut and I didn't have like the best uh, feelings after like watching her debut stream. She was really I mean, awkward. Again, um, I, I mean, to me, look, it felt like she yes. didn't want to be there. Like, yeah, I, I mean, know, again, I, let's let's I've not get over into, this before. Yeah, let's let's not um, go into too. Uh, sorry to interrupt you there, but um, let's not go into this too far. And I want you know what I'm gonna say here to be the last point. And the discussion was never the discussion I wanted to have. And the one I specifically kept trying to guide people towards, um, again, as, as I'm sure everybody would agree, is not about the Hall live streamers. It was specifically about whether, why, you know, if I, you know, sang a, an English song to Nier and then I put in, you know, kawaii or, you know, jut, ninjutsu or whatever, why he would, you know, slap me in the face. But if I sang, you know, some BTS song with Korean and English mixed in, he'd be okay with it. That was literally the discussion I wanted to have. I don't I speak putting... Korean. How would I know if you're speaking it in an English song? Uh, yeah, I mean, again, that that was a discussion. It was not meant to. You're free to speak your own your own uh, native language, Spire. I won't I won't judge you for it. It was you, it was not you it was Korean rap. It I was mean, not a judgment on. Toast, um, keep in mind, like, we've seen this reaction before with fucking um, Avril Lavigne's Hello Kitty song. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that, that was literally just the, the specific point I wanted yeah, to make. And it was fucking reminding uh, me of that. And it was not, it was not a judgment on any, you know, whatever Japanese rap artists or whatever it is. Huh? But, anyways, 
thank you for uh, engaging in this discussion. Although I, I, as I predicted, we went on a. Yeah. Did I predict forty five minutes? We got almost exactly yeah, forty five yeah, minutes. Right? Forty minutes, I think. Yeah. All right. I, 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 I I'm. Why? Right on the why do you time. hate the Japanese? Yeah. Sorry for hating group. the Japanese. Yeah. Sorry. I just hate. I just hate everybody. Is it? But, be, uh, is it because it'll it'll uh, interfere with the, uh, the American Empire? Yes. Swear, All right, let me give you a breakdown of what I hate. Let me give you a breakdown of what I hate. Anyways, uh, right. thank you. Thank you, everybody, for uh, engaging in this discussion. We still didn't I, I, say who our favorites were. Uh, it was, that was not, again, that was not the discussion. But, I, but that, that's what I asked. Of the new ones? <laughs> yeah. Um, if I had to Kiara. choose, you know why. I like Kiara, although I hope she gets a better mic. <laughs> Probably Ninomai, but uh, again, I haven't. What about you, what about you Spire? You're, you're... Probably Ninomai, but I haven't heard the any of the others, so I wouldn't is it, know. Is it because she can draw? Uh, I guess she's a little bit more demure than the others, but yes. Um, I mean, I also just but... like her art more, like her character design more than oh, any yeah. of the others. But yeah, like, um, I mean, the shark again... is second, but. <laughs> You know. <laughs> the shark is uh, mega memes here. Can you believe that she's the number one gamer in Japan? <laughs> All right, thank you, Toast. So this was not again. This was not a discussion on Hollow Live. It was like I'm it was specifically what I wanted to avoid. Yeah, but, um, we'll get there eventually. Podcast, dude. Yeah, again, I wanted to avoid this discussion for this exact reason. But um, anyways, <laughs> thank you everybody for engaging with me on you know this discussion because because again it's not even necessarily like limited to songs but like you know how we kind of see it on the day-to-day basis in terms of like this sort of community right um uh it's not just like lyrics or songs but like specific like people being like that's so kakoi or whatever blah blah, blah. so like this right and it's like we were like cringing or not cringing and we're like you know but i, I did want to have this sort of discussion and maybe we'll have <laughs> A more precise, like, I guess, discussion on it later. Is this the Garuga Mesh effect? Yeah, I mean, again, this is kind this of, what I want to do. Yeah, it's, like it's like this is not uh, my thoughts and my analysis and my sort of suggestions on it were not related to, you know, me being like, wow, Persona is shit or Hall Live English is shit or. Calliope is shit or whatever. It was literally like you know near near her me right when I was like, yeah. you know, Do you think do you think it was more like a induced by other means, right? But anyways, <laughs> we should even, actually even get to... weaves hate other weaves, huh? Spire? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This, this is, is why is this weaves why, hate other weaves. <laughs> this is why we can't get along. This is why Twitter cancels. This is why. I well, don't this is why Monica <laughs> Real will voice Uzaki in the Uzaki dub. Anyways. Yikes, and, dude. And yeah, that's pretty yikes. Um, this is and- why this is why Corona is getting hate from <laughs> from Twitter because you guys is. hate each other. I don't know. I'd say uh, unironically calling yourself a weeb is part of the problem. All right, but, yeah, like uh, let's let's like let's uh, end this discussion and move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, dark. The new term is yeah. Kai Guy Nikki. God, fucking. All right, let's please move <laughs> on. <laughs> To the, the the actual previews, uh, I just wanted to I give almost, a quick I, I almost made it one hour. Damn it! Quick uh, run rundown of the previous season. I don't think preview, pe- preview pe- podcast. By the way, yeah. Did, did we finish talking had... about about each other or whatever? Your intro is this is this the end of the intro? Yeah, we, yeah, we're done. Yeah, I, okay. I, we still yeah okay. But <laughs> thank you, Toast. Uh, I just want everybody to give a brief rundown of what they thought of the last season. I know again they were like. You know, maybe two and a half anime series that came out last season, but I still want people to kind of give a rundown. Um, as for me, I think last season still had pretty interesting anime uh, in terms of like what came out, right? Um, and obviously, we had more delayed stuff like Aparama that helped kind of keep it afloat. But I feel like, how, how do I say this? It was just. It wasn't disappointing. It was just like, oh man, if these like series really kind of got the boost that they had had needed in an actual sort of a regular environment, then it was like, then they would have been so good. But then they weren't, and then a lot of the other ones were just like, ah, uh, nah. So it was, uh, it was, 
it was disappointing, but not in the way that maybe some people might think. Here? Um, I mean, it was an unfortunate season, right? Yeah, it was unfortunate. That was the word. Um, yes. I don't know. I think given the circumstances, it was okay. Uh, you know, um, there was, you know, God of High School, which was decent. There was Decadence, which was, again, pretty good. Um, you know, Zaki Chan was there for the people that wanted that. Uh, you know, there were the fucking lunatics that like ReZero. They got their season two. Um, Fire Force got another season. You know, I mean, there was solid stuff. Um, but yeah, just an, an unfortunate series. Uh, yeah, season. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunate timing. But um, I think given the circumstances, it was decent. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't be helped too much. Uh, Dark. Um, for me, like for new series, like kind of whatever, because like, you know, there were like two new series and then like they were good, but it's like, you know, this season was so fucked that <laughs> it kind of didn't matter. Uh, but ironically, I haven't seen a pot of yet, but the delay of like Railgun the second half into it and also, um, Hokugo Table Nishi. Like those getting delayed into this season has honestly made this season for me at least like, and if we're including sequel like seasons into it too, it's like for me this has been a pretty good season. Like <laughs> it, all in all, uh, especially for what it is, it's been pretty good. Like I like um, Fire Force, so that was pretty awesome. Um, I like Railgun a lot. Uh, I like so the thing is, a lot of the filler, like a lot of the and sort of filler shows, right? Really awesome. So, yeah. a lot of the filler shows, right? That uh, that usually would have come out in the standard, I want to say 35 to 47 or 30, yeah, 35 to 47 show season, right? A lot of them did get cut out. So, the stuff we were left with weren't like swamped by all the other, you know, uh, you know, Isekai, Gay Boy series or whatever. Although we still did have a, like at least three Fujoshi series, right? Within our 13th. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you can't starve them for God's sake, Spy. That's true. <laughs> they got to have their exactly 30% yeah. market share <laughs> or yeah, 25% market share. Anyways, Toast, what about you? What did you think of the last season? How come the Arrow series were the best ones? I, I don't know about Butt Titans, Fire. How, how was the ending on that? Uh, <laughs> you finished Butt Titans? Yeah, are you talking about the... He pleads the fifth. Titan Bride, bro. How was oh, it? Fucking... How was the ending? Yeah, how was the ending? Of the, 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 the I didn't even watch the ending. I was just like, no, I, I don't think I... It wasn't even like... Did, did he this guy's not a true fan. End? It was. It wasn't even the fact that I was just like, oh, I don't want to watch, you know, more sort of implied the guy gets pushed down on the bed and gets, you know, anal or whatever. It was more just the fact that the story is literally like, is just Beauty and the Beast, but then they just uh, bleach, they put they put bleach in the washer, right? And then, and then all the colors drained off. <laughs> That's literally how that went. It was like, I don't know. Don't tell some people bleach their butthole. Is that how that works? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but uh, <laughs> interesting example. But yeah, it was it's, literally it's, just the diluted bleach, uh, excuse me, diluted Beauty and the Beast story that I didn't really want to partake in. So that was that. <laughs> why not, bro? And hey, why not? <laughs> yeah. you, st okay. you started it. Why didn't you end it? <laughs> I got to finish it. <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, it was not a, it was. It wasn't even like an unpleasant thing so much as it was just like, yeah, I guess this is a story that exists in this world. <laughs> so, anyways, oh, yeah. um, what, yeah. did, what did I watch? Uh, Mama Ogakuen, it sucks. But I liked it. <laughs> Kirito finally woke up and he became <laughs> the Black Swordsman that everyone remembered. That was cool, I guess. The Lonely Beater. Uh, and uh, oh, what else? Peter, Peter Grill, Grill. Yes, Peter Grill the best show of this season by far. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Doku and Hentai he Heroes. Me too, Levru. I guess people like that. Uh, wait, is that it? Is that all I watch? Probably. Oh, 
Kanojo. Oh my god. Kanojo Karishimas. I have whatever. so much yeah. to say about this show. Or <laughs> No, the show, the show, the show's whatever. It's never going to reach the same levels of hate as the anime and manga does, because, oh boy, I can talk about that manga for a while. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, just watch Peter Grill. Mo- Monster Moose, Monster Doctor, that's cool, but you should watch Peter Grill instead. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I guess with that, again, that was a brief rundown of what we thought of the last season. And um, I guess this in- upcoming season is just, you know, it's very surprising. Again, we have approximately, what is it? It was, um, we have about 40, 40 series, right? What was the number exactly? It was, I think uh, it was like 38. It was 43, se- it was 43 series total with 11 right. sequels three children's shows, and overall we're going to be covering in this uh, podcast 32 unique series. Obviously, we're going to be going a little bit faster because we do want to... uh, (laughs) We spent a little bit on the tangent, but it's uh, very surprising uh, that we're already sort of getting up to pace, right? 43 is pretty much near um, the average or even on the upper end of the spectrum. Average, I guess, right? Because, um, yeah, having 43 series means pretty much the Japanese machine is back up again. So, yeah, there are also a bunch of big, 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 big names coming out. So, just you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna you're gonna be uh, interesting <laughs> to you're, you're gonna be interested to hear some of our thoughts on some of these because they're big, <laughs> anyways. Let's move, let's uh, get on with it. We're gonna be doing the usual thumbs up, thumbs down. We're gonna be just going around. I'm gonna be doing this a summary of what the series is. Uh, everybody's going to go around, give their brief, very brief thoughts on it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And then we move on. So first off, we're already just uh, in the big leagues here. It is... Oh, yeah, by the way, usual disclaimer, we're not going to... Unless it's very, like, special kind of thing, right? And, like, it hasn't come out in 10 years. It's a huge series kind of thing. We're not going to cover sequels. And we're also not going to do chil- children's shows. Anyways, first off... Very big, obviously. Higurashi when they cry, also known as Higurashi nak, uh, naku koroni. Oh, Higurashi no naku koroni, right? Uh, is this? I keep forgetting. The is this the reboot? Remake reboot? What, what's happening? Um, I, I don't know anything about Higurashi. I think it's just like a re, like animating, like you know. Oh, uh, is it like Kana? Is it like Kana? No, how it was like the difference between the Toho Canon and, and Canon two thousand six. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think they're like um changing any of the story i think they're just mm-hmm. kind of just redoing the anime you know what i mean who's what's what's the uh what studio is it passione passione uh what they do oh they did bang dream okay they did... let me see this animation Animation production. It did. did ZX Kodo Kodo Yusha. Yusha. High School DXD. Hinako Note. <laughs> oh, they did Interspecies Reviewers? <laughs> sure did. <laughs> the, so the eye of this channel. Oh, man. This is going to be a very interesting. Okay, How'd they pick up Hikurashi? What the fuck happened? Yeah, dude? that's really weird. That is not. <laughs> Wait, did they do Sakamichi no Apollo? Or did they assist with that? Um, um, I think they. No, that's not. That's different. It's... No, never mind. Yeah. They did. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm. This is really weird. How they pick up? How they pick up fucking Higurashi? <laughs> like, what? I don't, know. I don't think. I don't. Know. Maybe Higurashi like isn't going for a lot right now. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a popular, prolific series, but uh, you know, it's quite old, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I'll probably thumbs it up. I mean, why not? Right? Because it's like, Passione Pes- isn't like. They don't do like, I mean, I guess interspecies reviewers wasn't that good, right? But it was like, I I, th- I think it'll be, I don't think it'll turn up like Berserk, right? Like Passione will probably do a decent job on the audio visuals. I mean, interspe- then... interspecies reviewers didn't really have like horrible, horrible. Yeah, it was just like ghetto. It was just a little yeah, bit ghetto. It's just um, like not anything they'll, crazy. They'll probably have enough money for Higurashi, but we'll see. So probably a thumbs up, Dark. Know, like... Um, I don't know. I don't <laughs> okay. care. Steam keeps fucking recommending it to me, so. 
Fuck you, uh, Gabe. No. Near? Um, yeah, they have Akio Watanabe working on this, so I'm gonna watch it. Oh, wow, Akio. <laughs> they really? Yeah. Uh, especially after the, uh, apparently the, the sort of shaft implosions over the past, like, year plus, right? They they just nabbed up uh, Watanabe Akio for, uh, for this? Yeah, Very I guess they just nabbed him up. Nice. Um, and Toast? No, I'm I I'm more of a uh, I'm what is it? Is it was it Han Yu? Is that is that the thing? Was that the one? Or no no no, it's Nipa. There you go. Yeah. 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 I'm more of a I'm more of a uh, Umi Neko BGM connoisseur. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> rather than a Higurashi. I don't know anything about Higurashi, but hit me up with them uh, Umi Nekos though. Okay, I get that. I get that. All right. So moving on to the next one, then this one also has, uh, I believe, quite a cultural or sorry, um, sort of a cult following in Japan, and it's it's mildly popular here. Um, it is the light novel original, Majin no Tabi Tabi, um, the Journey of Alina. So this is literally just uh, Alina just traveling to various people and you know, kind of experiencing. You know various things, right? It's like one of those stories, Kintabi kind of stories. I believe it is being done by C two C Animation Animation Studios, who has done mainly like uh like they've been assistant like second key animation kind of people, right? But let me see this. They, yeah, it seems um, like just other key, than that, they, second yeah. key is like. Most yeah, they've done very uh, they've done very small stuff like go go uh go uh uh go shigo, which is like the the thing where they did the haiku the haiku the short anime about haikus the they high school down. food oh no they didn't do high school food they did how to kind of receive oh interesting okay so they oh, this is really? like yeah this oh, is like how one to of kind the bigger the audio visuals um, for that were good yeah. But yeah, this is But yeah, they've done mainly, you know, assistance, uh, smaller stuff, stuff like that. So it's probably um, this is probably one of their bigger stuff, right? So, uh, I will. God, I've, the thing is, like this, honestly, like the light novel for this, and even the manga. I saw this like a long, long, long time ago, like years plus. Um, but I just, I really, I never got the time to really sit or enough interest, I guess, to really sit down and read it. But I really, really, really want to. I really want to. And I might just invest in this, obviously, with the light novel and the anime. So probably thumbs up. Dark? Yeah, I'm going to thumbs it up. Mm-hmm. Sounds cool. Um, I want to see what this studio is going to do now. Because, you know, a lot of their stuff was second key. But it was also for a lot of stuff that I liked. And like the audio. It looks pretty good in the preview, it, though, so. too, right? It doesn't look, um, doesn't look shitty in the preview. Any preview shit, bro, because, uh, you know. Yikes. Uh, let, me, uh, let me link the uh, preview. I mean, you can link them, but the problem is if I open that, I'm pretty no, sure. No, it's no, no. Gonna I'm just doing it in the chat. I'm just, doing it. I'm just <laughs> doing it in the chat here. I'll watch um, them later. Hey, I have faith, you know. Yeah, but uh, it looks pretty decent in the, in the preview. So. Anyways, Nier, what about you? Um, maybe. Um, it looks cozy enough. I might check it out. Okay. Uh, what about you, Toast? He's dead. Toast is dead. Uh, oh, me? Yeah, you. Who? Okay, so Nier, n- who who would win in a fight? Or no, Spire, who wouldn't have fight? <laughs> Why are you asking uh, me? Majin Notabi or Kino Notabi? You want to ask Nier that. Nier is much Nier. more of a Kino guy. Who would win a fight? Which Kino? Uh, I don't know, let's say the new one. Um, Probably this one. Okay. Is, <laughs> it in, is it in, is it an Isekai? I don't know, new um, Kino? Wait. I don't think so. You mean know. character hey, or like show who wins? Show. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. Fire, is this one an isekai? This is not. No, it's not. Isekai. It's not an isekai. It's just, just like a magic. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Uh, but yeah, 
uh, definitely an interesting series and definitely one, uh, one that will gain a lot of attention, I think. Next one will also gain a lot of attention, just not in the way that maybe Western fans will think. Uh-huh. Uh, Hypnosis Mike, Division Rap Battle, R- Rhyme Anima. So this is, a, I believe it's a game original, mobile game original, right? Um, it would, so it's like, I believe like women are ruling the world and then men have to like use their mics to rap and like control how people think or whatever. Like, so, so they're like, too relatable, mic. man, too relatable. <laughs> it's too they have like rap, mic, rap, mic control, say? like mics or whatever the fuck rap it is. And, battles, you say? And, then, and then, and then male, there are like male gangs that do like rap battles or whatever. It's, uh, that's sort of how they, it's, it's obviously a Fujoshi game, right? But uh, surprisingly yeah, enough, we're not even surprised. Women don't understand rap, man. It's the yeah. only safe haven left. This and um, there was another one, like some some prince or something like that. Or there, there are like a couple of these games out. Um, just like how you know, like Idol Master and stuff like that, or Love Live. Obviously, there are a bunch of male like otaku that love this. Like Hypnosis Mike is very popular in Japan amongst like uh, you know like females that you know female otakus like uh-huh. very popular like if you just search something like you know hashtag he- hikumai or the abbreviation for um hypnosis mike uh in, in japanese twitter like boom 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 just shit popping up like uh wildfire Hyp- it is very so are we talking about like time like time control hypnosis or what no mind control hypnosis <laughs> what do you mean time control <laughs> what it's, i don't think yeah, it's time- uh, Controlling time, time isn't really hypnosis. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> if you hypnotize everyone into thinking time isn't yeah, flowing, there's though. some genres where they mix hypnosis and time. Time stop. Time, but I'm like, yeah. so, oh, this is some good. genres, by the way. Wait, <laughs> but if you can stop, if you could stop time, what's the point of the hypnosis? It's, it's the point where you think they stop time, but you really don't. So, so they're sitting there frozen in time when they're not. And everyone's moving around them, and the, and they think, and they think nothing of it because they're hypnotized to not take note of it. It's pretty good. Anyways, I'll take your word. Uh, hypnosis, Mike. Honestly, it actually like I've listened to a couple of like openings and like trailers and whatever their their insert songs or whatever it is, and some of them are actually really catchy for one reason or another. So I don't know the what to think about them. The soundtrack in this PV is bizarre. It's like metal instrumentals, but with rap. It's kind of weird. Yeah, and then and then they like, and then like it kind of transitions into J-pop sometimes, and then yeah. it has EDM randomly. Have you have you seen the hypnosis mic thing that I posted a while back? Um, that had the um, the there's like a like major like what the fuck is this? But anyways, I'll I'll show it to you later. But it's like. Um. Oh yeah, this one, the the division battle anthem. Let me post it on on uh, in chat. Um. But yeah. Uh. There's some of this stuff that's like. Oh, actually, right. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, it's actually pretty catchy for some reason, but uh, I might actually watch this. <laughs> like, unironically, actually watch this and be like, hmm, maybe is, is there anything decent here? But I'm like... totally turning gay, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's the hypnosis mics, dude. It's the hypnosis mics. <laughs> But uh, it's it's very weird. Um, I I'll just watch it and be like, and see like why, if anything, why try I, I want to try to understand why female talk might like it. But I guess it's just the rapping boys. I don't I, mean, I don't even know at this you, point. Man. If you look at these designs, like you can understand why this game is so popular. Let's what be real. Mean? Like these designs, like they're. These are like peak Fujoshi designs. Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. <laughs> um, and they have like every archetype under the sun, right? It's like it's like yeah, Adam Master Cinderella girls. They have all the archetypes. They have like the military dude. They have the scientist. They have the you know you know how there's always like in the in the like these Fujoshi mobile game, there's always this like one like sort of innocent quote unquote uh, like white haired boy or like you know yeah. that has like pajamas on. That's like that has like the overfit pajamas, and you can't see his hands. So it's like the 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 boy equivalent of like the long sleeves, right? Yeah. But it's always like pajamas for some reason. It's like that, right? Um, they have a lot of that. Dark. Uh, are you gonna watch Hypnosis, Mike? No. <laughs> 
Near Why not Rome. borrow with a love rap? <laughs> <laughs> but uh Nier, what about you? Um not my tempo. Okay. Uh toast. Maybe one Japanese rapper that everyone likes in the Western community. Western um, community? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, not, not many I of mean, them not are like that popular. Mass That's destruction was sung like by a, a woman, you know? Yeah. Not like every... Not a, not everybody likes rap, let alone Japanese rap. And oh, also, uh, Japanese uh, rap uh, isn't as well known. Overdrive pretty good. So. Uh, no. Yeah, anyway. Well, I mean, I do I do like... I I do, I do did like Tama Onsen's 12-minute uh, Mokuo EX stage rap. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so are you, are we are you gonna watch it or not? Toast. The rap battles are funny. <laughs> tell tell <laughs> me if the rap battles are funny, then I'll watch it. All right. Like uh, what no. what's the show? What's the show with the zombies? Zombie Land Saga. The no, yeah, yeah. Saga. Half a... saga G hit hit me up with that thirty second with that rap, rap battle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, next, this is probably another going to be a very, very interesting series in terms of how this one turns out as well. It is Assault Lily Bouquet. Um, on Earth, in the near future, mankind was on the verge of destruction from an attack by a mysterious life form called the Huge. The whole world united together. The Huge what? Like the big <laughs> the Huge. The Fucking huge. I'm watching this show. <laughs> Huge, huge was, dude. The huge, huge. <laughs> using magic and science to create the whole world united together against this threat. Using magic and science to create weapons called charms. Around the world, institutions known as gardens raise girls called lilies to. Oh no, lilies to wield these weapons. Uh, uh, Riri Hitotsu, Hitotsu uh managed to pass the exam to enter the prestigious garden known as Yurigaoka Girls School. She entered in an attempt to find Yu Shirai, a girl who rescued her in her past. And this is done by none other than yeah. Shaft Studios. Under, I, will, I do want to say though, under um, Saiki Shoji. So this is not the usual suspects here, by the way, just for people wondering. Um, oh, okay. I know. Um, what is it? Akiko Shimba had some fall, had some weird. like uh, complaints falling out with the with the staff or whatever, right? So, uh, yeah. A while back, yeah. So this is this is again not the usual suspects that people are thinking about, but um, they're kind of it's it's interesting. Um, obviously, I think they know. I think everybody who's working in this knows exactly what shadow they're working under, right? The shadow of what series they're working under, right? They know. They know. They know, they know, they know, right? So the mission is to escape from that shadow. Would you agree, Nier? What's the shadow, bro? (laughs) They're under multiple shadows, dude. I I would say the biggest shadow, the most obvious shadow is uh, Madoka, right? Yeah. They I are... mean, they're under they're under the shadow of Madoka. They're under the yeah. shadow of like Shaft. Um, yes. Like I don't know, dude. This feels like a bad idea. Like this feels like this feels like somebody in in Shaft like broke into like uh the trigger like <laughs> the, the emergency safe. No, oh, no fuck idea, the bitch. trigger emergency safe. They broke into like the fucking like JC staff safe, like emergency safe. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. This is like... <laughs> They're like, wait, we need a... Excuse me, sir. We need a dime a dozen series stat. <laughs> this what? is like the, the worst fuck? decision Shaft could like make after this like... This series what? comes out every season. I think so. I think this is I think this is one of the worst premises Shaft could do. I mean, you, you think this that... is worse than like some them doing something like Makako City Actors? Is is what I'm wondering is because because it's like either Shaft so it's like right now Shaft has like three modes right it's I think like, conceptually like they, yeah it's yeah like, I it's, think... like a, it's like how a car has like park reverse and drive right uh, fuck the neutral right it's like it's <laughs> Shaft either makes uh, a a Monica movie or <laughs> or, Chef, or I mean Shaft's three modes right now are explode explode <laughs> and don't explode like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
let's be honest, right? Like they just lost like one of the most prolific directors yes. in anime history, right? Yeah. And Regardless their first decision, their first decision is to make a fucking magical girl series. Like, yes, are you for real? Like, <laughs> age it's... of magical girls has passed with a what was it? Was it magical girl death site? What's it called again? Uh, oh, right? site. Yeah, yeah. Was the last site. good magical girl Sorry. show. I don't know about yeah. it being good, but yes, it's pretty is. good. Uh, so near. Are you gonna watch it? Are you gonna watch it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm going to watch it, but I'm gonna be very aware of that again. It's. It's like, you know, you know that like fuck, you know those like game trailers of like you know games like shadow of the Colossus stuff like that where like the huge fucking like boss creatures like hang over yeah, yeah. Like, that, yeah, I, that case, is literally the picture in my quite head. literally the huge yeah the huge uh dark are you gonna watch it oh absolutely i need to know more about the huge <laughs> i need to, i need to know more about the huge i need to hear characters talking about the huge <laughs> like yeah yeah, uh, it could it could be shit. It doesn't matter. I gotta hear it and I gotta see it. <laughs> but but for for the yeah. just really quick to touch on the thing you were talking about with Makaku City actors, like I think conceptually, like you know, Makaku City actors would have like been should have been better. Should, yes, yes, should. But I mean, from a standpoint of the fact that you know there was like nothing to really work with and they kind of made it a complete fucking mess like i don't know maybe the fact that this is like more something to work with it could be better not really a hard a high bar but <laughs> that's true you know i just think like that's kind of a coin toss at that point right yeah uh toast what about you is this an allegory towards? <laughs> you keep towards the word West... allegory. Is this an allegory towards the Western culture? Because of how uh, big they are. Yeah, the huge. The huge. huge. <laughs> yeah. You see how big uh that them them white people are. Dark. How tall are you again? <laughs> I don't think. That's um. Yeah. So the last time I gotta measure myself actually my height I might be six feet tall. Okay. I was like tall eleven are you and change the last time I Me? went to the doctor. Well, were you getting five that five was like, three five eight? You know, that was five seven. There, there, there you go. <laughs> yes, to me, dark is the huge. <laughs> Near, near, uh, you're, near, you're, you're above there, right? You're above five seven. You're like five. Is it... I'm five seven. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, 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 does that mean you're gonna watch it? No. Okay. I my last chef so was what? Uh, what was it? Oh, oh, could it? Yeah, oh, could it top encore? the last? Yeah, could it top last encore? Simultaneously, the worst and best show of that year. I don't know. I feel like if anything, this show has the potential to be better than last encore. That's not saying much. Yeah. I also want to say assault lily, uh, this like uh, assault lily bouquet or whatever. Like uh, half of it seems to be like <laughs> trying to sell like shots of uh, stockings with like plump thighs or whatever. I feel like the, I'm looking at this trailer. I'm literally like half of this. Half of these are just shots of like. You know, white stockings with like or white um, fucking what do they call them? The it's it's not stockings, right? It's um, knee socks. Yeah, knee socks. Yes, knee socks with uh with a plump thigh, like you know, the sticking out, right? <laughs> yeah. Yikes! This misaki fag can't contain himself. <laughs> I mean, Setai Ryoki is very popular. Yeah. Uh, Shaft, Shaft, Shaft is really on that path now after uh, losing a lot of people. Hey man, they lost the head tail. Now they're doing the Setai Ryoki. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, next. Uh, this one is Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, which I believe is a manga original. Negative human emotions. Regret, bitterness, shame, 
are the source of all curses that infest the world and hide in everyday life, leading to death in the worst cases. Oh, is this like um pretty what good? Was what was that one series near where um people had to like go into dreams and like fuck with them to like uh, the fish like not series? Yeah, the goldfish one. Yeah, what was that one? Do you know? Pet, the pet yes. <laughs> this is already giving me pet vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Yuji Itadori, a particularly strong young man, attempts to save a friend from a curse, only to wind up consuming the special grade finger of double-sided lodging curse. With this curse now sharing his body, he's mentored by the curse expert Satoru Gojo to transfer to the Tokyo Metropolitan College of Arts and Science, which specializes in curses. Only a curse can eliminate another curse, and Yuji's career as a cursed person who must exercise curses has now begun. What the fuck? <laughs> All right then. Um, this is who is it done by? Mappa, I think. Mappa? Are you sure? I saw Mappa in the um, TV. So. Okay. 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 So it is Mappa. Uh, let's see this. Yeah. Um. And yeah, and it is. The person who was behind or who helped with uh, the God of High School, Park Sung Hu, who is actually yeah. Korean, is actually directing the anime Mappa. Pretty interesting. Um, uh, wow, I don't. I, yeah, this honestly. Hmm. I don't know about this, honestly. <laughs> it really depends because I just. I, I mean, I'm not. I, I've never been too phased with these sorts of series. I'm not like, wow, man, they're doing episodic, fucking whatever hunts. This is exciting, but um, I might take like an episode watch, but I'm probably not gonna watch it. Uh, near. Uh I don't know. This sounds pretty generic. I mean, it's interesting that Mappa is like, I guess, um taking in Park Sung Hoo, but um I don't know. This premise sounds like shit. Maybe it could be good. I'll probably watch it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh Dark. It's tricky because the director is uh I don't know exactly how to say Sung Sung Ho Park or Sung Hoo Park. Sung Hoo. Yeah. So he's done a good bit of the Garo animation stuff, and Vanishing Line was really good, and he did some of that. Yeah, so, I mean, Sun Hu is a very good animator, but it's... Uh, we'll see, like, guess, but the problem is, after... too, it's also not Garo. So, so I'm kind of yeah. like, okay, you got these cool monsters, but it's just some asshole. Like, <laughs> Garo Vanishing Line was fucking awesome because it was a uh, big American man transforming into big golden knight man killing monsters uh i don't know man maybe okay uh toast i heard i, I heard it was good but yeah you should watch it in my place you, you like them shonens right um uh, them boys i heard this was good I hear, I hear about Jujutsu Kaisen all the time. All right. I'll recommend it to you, but I won't. Maybe it'll be your promised Neverland. Maybe. Honestly, what sucks is that it seems like none of the people on the music or any of the people who worked on like the Garo music, Garo soundtrack. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, uh, next is... Uh, a manga original, I believe. Uh, so it's uh, I'm standing on one million lives, also known in Japanese as Hakman no Inochi no Ue de Ore ga Ore Hakman no Inochi no Ue ni Ore wa tatteiru. So, third year junior high school student Yosuke Yotsuya. Uh, Yotsuya Yosuke is a reasonable kid, but he doesn't have any friends. Suddenly, Yosuke is uh, blown away into another world. Now the guy who loved avoided fights with his female classmates and loved being alone is supposed to be a hero somehow. So obviously he's a guy's stuff. Um 
done by Maho Film, who is not only doing this series, but they're doing another series that we're going to cover later during the same season. So they're doing two series in this season, which is honestly, in my opinion, almost insane <laughs> for any studio to do it, I think, during this sad crisis. And they also previously uh, were the main studio, I believe, behind Uchi Musume, Uchi no Kono Tame Naraba. Or if it's for my daughter, I'd even defeat Demon Lord, which was obviously very popular before. But um, yeah, very interesting. Um, the the preview does. I mean, it's it's pretty seems pretty standard. Why um, does um why does the music in the preview sound like it was recorded on a two thousand three player? Yeah, oh, uh, it's, 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 it's got like it is so compressed. It's so weird because it's like it's like they. It feels like they wanted to do some sort of like weird like fade effect when the like volume fade effect when the uh, when the people were speaking, but then like somebody fucked with like somebody who didn't know how to do like you know audio editing just fucked with all the buttons and now it's like super compressed. Yeah, it's you know like we yeah. we lowered all the bass from mm-hmm. this. Uh, by the way, like the the anime kind of looks like. Um, ha- have any of you seen uh, the anime art for Trinity Seven? It kind of looks yeah. like that. it's it's uh, the eyes and stuff like that. So it's pretty interesting. But yeah, um, I might check it out. I'll check out a couple of episodes. I'm probably not going to be overly impressed with it, but it is what it is. Near? Um, no. Okay. Uh, dark. Uh, probably not. Okay. Toast. It's you said another world, right? Yes. Well, how how do you say another world in J- Japanese? <laughs> isekai tensei. Yeah. What? No, it's just isekai. Well, yes, I guess. <laughs> you know what was an isekai? Nino Kuni on Netflix. It sucked. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'll watch this. All right. Moving on then. Uh, so this is another manga original. So this is uh, Tonikaku Kawai, Fly Me to the Moon, or also known as a Tonikawa. Nasa meets a quote-unquote generally cute girl named Tsukasa on the day of his high school entrance exams and immediately falls in love with her. Nasa confesses his feelings, but her response is she will only go out with him if they get married. Years later, on Nasa's 18th birthday, she suddenly appears to get married. Uh, she appears in front of him to get married. That's because Nasa's newlywed lifestyle. This is done by Seven Arcs, who has done. Uh... Some like see, they, are, they, they, they art. They did Arsura Kra- They did. Uh, they did Dog Days. What the fuck is going on here? There's, uh, there's, there's... Here's your pull. Right. They helped with uh, Nanoha. And they did Sekirei. Interesting. So they did a lot of like more, more like I guess fan service kind of stuff. But um, what is this? So Tonikawa, uh, the premise sounds really good. I haven't obviously read the manga yet or anything like that. But like, honestly, like, any you know viewer, longtime viewers of this podcast or listeners to this podcast know that I I've always talked about you know like I want an after story series. I want more. Give me after story. Give me after story now. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to be watching this. This is an after story series, probably. So, uh, thumbs up for me. Near, you're about to get cucked, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch this. Okay. Uh, Dark. Yeah, I'm with you on this one, but I'm watching it. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's uh, not like a fucking two minute short. Yeah, that's me too. Toast. Yeah, I'll watch it. Okay. Um, next. I Is I it? need to very I need to put some variables in my watch list this year season. Yeah. Uh, so this is the next one I'm just going to be covering real quick. I don't think uh, if anybody wants to actually say any like inputs, they can chip in. But it's like a real like I think it's like a really short like 
almost like a made for Twitter, made for Instagram, made for kind of general social media kind of series. But it's like uh, it, it's uh, a manga original called uh, "With a Dog and a Cat." Every day is fun. Also known as "Ikutunoko in Inutuneko Tochimokateru to Mainichi Tanoshi." So this is just about an owner who has both a cat and a dog, and they do cute shit. It's like one of those Twitter like small manga stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just probably gonna be short. If if you like kind of very you know small, cute like Twitter manga level kind of series, probably check that one out. Next one um, is big. Uh, I don't think I, I'm not sure how many of the West, how much of the Western community might know it, but. Um, that's a mobile game, isn't it? Or which one are we on? This visual novel. Uh, we are on... Oh, that one. That one. The rail yeah, one. Okay. This one is called Rail Romanesque. Uh, the anime. Wait. This is a short? Wait, this is a short? It says this five is... minutes per episode. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Instant watch. Instant Why would watch. they do that? That's so that's so unfortunate. They had such a good like they had such a like good opportunity to show this ser- this series off. So the reason why I said this was um, Real Romanesque is uh, this is not the name of the franchise. The actual name of the general franchise that Real Romanesque is under is um called Maitetsu, and uh, this is essentially it's train girls, right? It's it's anthropomorphized trains, um. And it's quite like it's made by uh, Lost Studio, I believe, right? A Lose Studio, right? Yeah. Which um, is one of like sort of the top tier sort of studios in in Japan, visual novel studios in Japan. They create very you know high quality sort of uh, visual novels, and then My Tetsu is one of their sort of flagship series, no pun intended. And um, yeah, My Tetsu is quite popular, so. Uh, if this was a full series, like this would have been big. Yeah. <laughs> like it would have been fucking big. But uh I, I don't know. It's so unfortunate that they made it a short. But um man. Uh so yeah, it is a short about again train girls in Japan. Um yeah, I'm probably still gonna watch it, but uh it's kind of disappointing. Near? Yeah, I'll probably watch it. Okay. Uh, Dark. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's only five minutes, so whatever. I'll check it out. Okay. Seems like something that would have been nice to get a follow up, though. Yeah. Uh, toast. Minutes, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Peter Grill is ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Um. Next, uh, so this one is King's Raid. Uh, uh, a hundred years ago, King Kyle defeated the demon king Angmund, Angmund, leading to an age of peace for the kingdom of Orberia. Now, the fate now the fate of the apprentice knight Castle takes a turn when word arrives of demons appearing in his region. Klaus, a fellow trainee who is like his older brother, goes off to investigate and never returns. The great sage Dominicus sends Castle, along with a team of trusted allies, to find his friend and to seek out a sealed holy sword that can save the land. Um, is this an anime <laughs> original? No, it's a mobile game. Yeah. Oh, it's a mobile game. Thank you very much uh, for letting me know. Uh, this is a Korean mobile game? It says... <laughs> Why don't okay. you know Spire? No, because it says Korean companies here. <laughs> but um, okay, so wow, the animation, yeah, it does look Korean. It, but, King's um, Raid, King's Avatar, Solo Luffling. I see where this is going. Uh, I am probably not gonna watch this. This is, this reminds me too much of Blade and Soul. And Blade and Soul was born. Watch but... Blade and Soul. But it had boobs, dude. <laughs> the the anime was not good. But uh, no anyway, uh, 
Dark. Are you going to watch it? No. Uh, Nier. Um, I don't know if it's just me being like a fucking coomer, but every time I hear um, like the dark fucking lord was sealed a hundred years ago, I think of a fucking age game plot. But um, no, I'm not gonna watch this. Uh, toast. I don't even play a king's raid. Also, King Kyle sounds like King Kong. Okay, uh, so that's uh, that then. Next, uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to what is this? Okay. Oh no! By the way, can we fucking I like Jeez, what? What is that I, word? Yeah, that's that's. So, I, I, so, wait, oh wait, there's no I. <laughs> that's why, like, that's why I hate Japan. By the way, like their title. Oh, look at this for you guy. I just so much. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce it. It's Warlords of Sigurdrifa. Fucking Sigurdrifa, or Senyukno Senyukno Sigurdrifa Sigurdrifa. I'm just gonna do Sig and then kind of just skip say Sigurdrifa. Yeah, skip the fucking R. That's one day. Sig yeah Sig okay. One day. Sigurdrifa. Yeah, that's whatever. Sigridrifa. I don't know. Anyways, one day, quote unquote, pillars appeared on Earth and became a threat to all life. The sudden appearance of a god called Odin was the only reason humanity survived. His method of fighting these pillars was to grant flight via mechanical, quote unquote, hero wings to chosen beautiful young girls called Valkyries. After many years, humanity's battle against the pillars continues in the sky, with women fighting in their battle wings with men as their support staff. Japan is no exception, and when a pillar appears on Mount Fuji, three Valkyries confront it. They are joined by an ace pilot from Europe uh, to continue the counterattack as Ragnarok grows ever closer. So is this all girl, or is this like like all girls plus one Here's like to be ace all pilot? Girls. Uh, okay, okay. From this is TV. A1. This is A1 Pictures, by the way. Um... These are also so, a series of fucking planes from like different, completely different time periods. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. This seems to be like an airplane otaku plus girls kind of series, I guess. But it's also involving they have to defeat... Odin and Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, they have to prevent Ragnarok. That's also a thing. I'm. <laughs> I don't even know, man. First of all, is I supposed to be stopping you. Ragnarok? <laughs> How many times uh, will we stop Ragnarok, old man? <laughs> uh, I might check this out. I don't even know, man. I, I might check this no, out. No, what studio is doing this? The style is so fucking familiar. Oh, uh, A1 Pictures. Is this, is this oh, okay. Strike Witches? Not Cloverworks, this A1, straight up. Just okay. Kinda... Um, oh, apparently this might be another mobile. Oh, game. it is. Nice. Uh, this is so uh, okay. Yeah, but I might check this out. I don't know, Dark. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to know more about why it's fucking Odin and Ragnarok, <laughs> and game. also and also the pillars because I don't even think that shows up in the fucking PVs. The pillars, man. Near. No. <laughs> I mean. Okay. I mean, it's just a fucking plane series with fucking Nordic like naming. It's so stupid. Okay. Uh, toast. I don't even like Strike Witches. I'm not a lolicon. <laughs> it's not even like Strike Witches though. Just yeah, it's not plain. even. Uh, we, regular we plane? Strike Witches. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is like in a plane. plane. It's like old they're in plane, like plane. World War like, One, in World in War Two planes. So it's like. So what what what's that what's that dragon pilot? He's sewn into Masatan then, but there's not, not dragons. <laughs> Things yeah. have not dragons. <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah, actually, no, because also in Masatan those were fighter planes too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So like Macross, but not without the transforming. I, uh... No. <laughs> well, if, if it has good I... dog fights, I'll watch it. Yeah. Probably won't. 
Anyways, uh, what is it? Um, yeah, so that'll be that next on the list is another big name, obviously, oh. maybe not for people, Western people, uh, you know, uh, Western viewers, especially those of pe- those people affiliated with the uh, Smash community who are surprised that that sort of a uh, character might come out. But it is uh, Dragon Quest, the adventure of Dai. <laughs> or what is it in Japanese? It's like Dai no uh, Dai Boken or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, Dai no Dai Boken. Uh, so Dragon Quest. Uh, yeah, boy, you want me to do this? Stuff. There's this plot summary, but I'm not going to read it. It's just Dragon Quest stuff. I don't even know it's what this not, is. It's not, it's not just Dragon Quest Fire. This is probably the best Dragon Quest adaptation that has ever lived in a Shonen Jump. <laughs> So it's it's a remake, right? Apparently, or so it says. Is it? Yeah, um, if it's a remake, that's fine because the anime, the anime was pretty good. The manga is okay. great. You, what, what was that? Uh, what's that crappy Shonen Jump story game? Uh, Jump, Jump Heroes story game. Jump um, the Jump, Jump Heroes or something? I don't know. Jump Force is the Jump, Jump Force. For- yeah. Jump Force had a story mode, so you're probably yeah. thinking that. D- Die was in Jump Force. Die's cool. Okay. So let me t- R- Riku Sanjo, the dude who made Dragon Quest Dino Dai Boken, is a pretty prolific dude. He worked on uh, if off the top of my head, there he worked on Giver. He worked on uh, the Common Rider crossover movies. Uh, mm-hmm. His current ones beat the Vandal Buster, and yeah, he's his toes are dipped firmly into the Common Rider market. And then <laughs> the then the illustrator Koji like Koji something. He's only made two two manga. It's this, or Dragon, Dragon Quest, and Beat the Vandal Buster. That's it. And <laughs> it's like, that, that's all he's known for. What was I going at? Yeah. Die No Die Boken is great. I recommend it to anyone. Really good Shonen Jump of the old age. The, the golden age, you know. Roni Kenshin, Dragon Ball. Yuhaku. Ring a bell? Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you guys know these names? Dragon anyway. Ball? Ring a bell? <laughs> so Toast is definitely going to watch this, obviously. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Uh, Dark, what about you? Uh, yeah, I'll probably check it out. This looks uh, fucking bizarre, seeing like this style so like clean. Don't, don't worry, Dark. It's going to be and better than Dragon seeing, Quest, like, your story. Seeing yeah, like, well, people fucking hated Dragon Quest. CG Western mix <laughs> is weird too, though it's not like terrible. The CG blending is pretty good. The Dragon Quest mechanics oh. are not so firmly ingrained into this show. It's very this series. It's very standard, a uh, shonen, but it has Dragon Quest elements to it, which makes it really good. <laughs> people, Japan loves Dragon Quest. It's great. Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, I don't yeah, believe uh, it. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, near. Um. Mm, probably. I mean, it's toy animation, so. Well, yeah, it's Dragon Quest. It's their baby. Yeah, well. Dragon Quest: Your Story did come out, so. But yeah, I'll probably <laughs> so watch did, it. So did Pokemon. Uh, yeah. I had Pokemon remake. Oh boy. Okay, I'll probably, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll probably check it out, too, so. It is Dra- Duraque, Duraque, after all, Dragon Quest, so. Next on the list. How can you week. love Japan if you don't love Dragon Quest? Only <laughs> Western people love Final Fantasy. <laughs> Anyways, the next one is also has been also been uh, going around Western Twitter already, even before coming out, for obvious reasons. Um, and I know it's going to be a big thing on the Western Twitters. It is Iwa Kakeru, Sport Climbing Girls. First year high school student Kasahara Konomi discovered sport climbing at Hanamiya Girls High School after training her mind with puzzle games during junior high school. Her life changed the moment she stumbled across her new school's climbing wall, which led her into the school's climbing team. What the fuck? Um... What is it? It is by Blade Studios, which I don't, uh, which I, is probably a very assistant slash 
a uh, small like seri- uh, pr- sorry a small studio probably they yeah they done stuff smaller stuff like cheating craft or whatever the fuck it is uh don't tell gaiden see this they did yin yang shi ping an wu yi <laughs> they did uh yeah everything else is like cooperation pretty much but yeah this is their i want to say one of their like yeah this is probably their first like really really like more major series i say major but it's like not that big but you know what i mean anyways uh what is this let me see this fucking thing it's already not impressing me um i might check it out but um yeah i'm not probably like watch this uh past two like i've had the phase where you know i watch stuff like sabakebu and like stella jogaku and you know whatever all the survival game stuff and all the girl blah blah blah. and uh, i don't know it's like i'm i'm still like don't get me wrong i'm still in that phase where i want to watch for like you know x amount of girls in a club doing stuff but I just don't like, I, I'm starting to not like as much like the sort of like, oh, we're a climbing team. We're the fucking swimming team. We're going to go out there and blah, blah, blah. I just want them to just sit in the club and just like, you know, chill. You know what I mean? I think that makes for a much better like kind of general discussion and kind of dialogue in the lines than we're going to go out there and fucking rock climb. But yeah. Anyways, that's just my opinion on the thing, so I'm probably not going to watch this. Dark. I climb. No, I'm not <laughs> watching this shit, dude. <laughs> uh, near. Um, no. You got toast. Yeah, boy. Sports <laughs> ser- this is, is this the only sports series? This is your sports series for the same. <laughs> Isn't this the only one? I don't even know, dude. I think it might be. Yeah, unless you count plane flying as sports. I'll mm. take it. Yeah, it's mine. Okay. Um, Next. This one is probably the biggest. Everybody would agree this is the biggest series of the, of the season, right? Um, no, it's Dragon Quest. What are you talking about? It's debatable. It's debatable. Uh, I think Maybe it's for Worm 3, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's for Boomers. Three. Yeah. Anime boomers. But, um, yeah, this is uh, Hanyo no Yashahime, also known as Yashahime, Princess Half Demon. And if this part of this name sounds familiar to you, it's because it is. It is a spin off or kind of a sequel. It's, it's a pretty sequel. much a sequel, it's yeah. The Boruto. It's the Boruto of Naruto. Yeah, it's the Boruto of Naruto. The Boruto you know, of what? Naruto. What? You said, you said Boruto of Naruto and you confused me. I was like, what the fuck? Did you... Okay, it is the Boruto of uh, Inuyasha is, I believe, the correct analogy. And yes, it is a spin-off slash sequel of the infamous Inuyasha. Um, the daughters of Seshomaru and Inuyasha set out on a journey transcending time. Blah, blah. In feudal Japan, half-demon twins Toa and Setsuna are separated from each other during a forest fire while de- desperately searching for a blah, 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 blah. Um, Ten years later, um, uh, the tunnel that connects the two ears has reopened, allowing Toa to be reunited with Setsuna, who is now a demon slayer working for Kwaku. But to Toa's shock, Sesuna appears to have lost all memories of her older sister, joined by Moroha, the daughter, the daughter of Inuyasha and Kagome. Three young women travel between the two eras on an adventure to regain their missing past. So it's like three girls doing... It's like, it's like, um, it's not as common in, uh, in like English movies and stuff like that. Like, but, um, like, in Japan and Korea and China, there are these, like, occasionally there are these, like, movies where like how, how do i say this there's like they'll just have like three ninja girls in the or or yeah th- like three ninja girls in the feudal era or like the war states era or whatever right or like three women warriors and they're just traveling through places and kicking ass and doing whatever and it's 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 like which uh war, which warring states are we talking about are we talking about the sengoku jidai 
yeah like both the... i mean both in japan and china like again this is like a general like sort of china korea japan kind of thing they'll just have like three like warrior girls like traveling through those like feudal times and just kicking ass and you know taking contracts or whatever the fuck it's it's uh it's like almost a like a standard movie genre at this point but um it's kind of like that probably is my guess but uh as for whether i'll watch it honestly people might uh give me flack for this but i'm not particularly impressed i mean i'm not gonna lie like thinking back to inuyasha I wasn't particularly uh-oh, impressed. Uh oh, uh oh. No, Spire's gonna anger all the Fujoshis that love Sashomaru. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Nier's trying to like get me to like not get this show canceled. Not get this podcast canceled. But, uh. Hot take, take was... coming. Warning, warning. <laughs> My opinions Spire's are. Spire's opinion does not. Are not yeah, it does not reflect the general opinions of 4PA. Uh. But I just want to say, I wasn't particularly impressed by Inuyasha's plot, thinking back upon it now either. So I was like, so I was thinking back, so I was thinking back to that and then thinking to Yashihime, I was like, uh, uh. But yeah. Um, like the characters themselves were interesting. I, I agree with uh, what kind of like Pride Ideas says. Can you believe of- that Inuyasha and Kagome never kissed? Except for in the second <laughs> movie, but uh, he just went straight to marriage. Yeah. That's that's a, that's a pure relationship right there. <laughs> you right, but yeah, um, I wasn't I wasn't ever like really impressed with like why they were journeying or whatever the fuck they were doing. But um, yeah, uh, I'll I'll get into obviously a few episodes of it. I mean, I gotta I gotta make the but, journey. Yeah. Right? Spire, this is the same thing as you playing Hollow Ataraxia before finishing Fate. What the Why? fuck are you? I fucking read it. I read all of you. Know, actually, what are you I talking did. about? No, that, this is the same thing. You're like, ugh, I'm going to watch this, but I don't remember any of it. And I'm like, why did you start? I mean, you might as well watch Boruto before Naruto here. I guess. I don't know, but I mean, I remember bits and pieces. I remember, like, enough of, like, the conclusion and stuff like that of Inuyasha. It's not like... Then tell me, who was the strongest human that Inuyasha fought? Uh, fucking... <laughs> hey. uh, come on, me. he's a very famous dude. He, he's also... Come on, he's also got a big sword. Inuyasha 2. <laughs> What was it? I don't. Can't believe you can't remember. It was a whole. Dante they had a whole the big sword fight. Killer. You, you gave up, what? Spire. Wait, who was it? You can argue that it was Naraku, since he Sephiroth. himself is a half demon. Uh, oh, actually, this guy. Fuck it. I didn't know he was a human. I don't know. He was a human, though. I thought Bonkotsu he was. Bonkotsu was a human. human. Yes, the band of seven. They're all humans. Okay. Except for the, except for like the cyborg dude. Because by the end of it, they just like had all. They just had. They were like they had all like the fucking the the jewel shards in them, and they were getting all fucked up. So I like I didn't know who the who was like ultimately human and who wasn't. Like I, by that point, I was like, oh okay. Fire, finish in the Yasha before you watch this. So. The fuck are you talking about? I read yeah. all of you, yeah. Watch all 152 episodes right now. Uh, I apologize. It's on, it's on Netflix, you know? Not not Inuyasha, the final chapter, but... No, I don't want to fucking watch that shit. I fucking read them. I would rather reread the manga than fucking watch the anime. Fucking... If, you re- Spire, if you read the manga, then how come you can't place whether this is a spin-off or a sequel? You I can, can watch it in English, too. No, I know it was a sequel, but it literally said... Do you not remember in the last chapter of Inuyasha, there was this whole thing about this demon tree and how uh, Kagome was angry at Inuyasha for cheating on her with Kikyo, then this demon tree thing. This is the continuation of that because that demon tree survived that encounter and it fused into the uh, the sacred tree. And And that's the one that made the portal. The reason why I was confused, Mr. Toast Points, was because the ANN site literally says it's a spin-off for some reason, and for a split because second, this is not I was made like, by this is not uh, made by uh, Rumiko Takashi. 
Well, I mean, whatever the reason is, it says spinoff for a second. I was like, oh, what the fuck? I thought it was a sequel, but then it's a spinoff here. So that was why I was confused. It can't be a sequel if it's not made by the original mangaka. I don't think that's how it works, but okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, so everybody's... Uh, sorry. Um, fucking Dark, are you going to watch it? What if I told you? I've never seen... <laughs> I wouldn't be a surprised fucking, because you're basically maybe. a fucking zoomer in terms of anime. <laughs> I, I've never seen a fucking minute of any gosh. What is this Inuyasha you know you speak of? <laughs> Did you not you know watch what? what? Inuyasha. Me... It's like a boy, long hair. <laughs> yeah. Sounds kind of gay. I mean, you're, to not, me, bro. you're not. You're this not. This has a girl, white, team. short you're hair. Team. Sounds kind of cool to me, bro. You're not, you're not Dark, are you telling me you've never watched Trigun, Outlaw Star, Cowboy Bebop, Gundam Wing, Oath <sighs> MS Team, G Gundam? No, I, I have seen G Gundam. Gundam. I have seen Gundam Wing. Wow. wow. Probably, probably like That's one episode like of Trigun. It's the greatest anime series ever, Gundam wise. Um, yeah, like I've I seen said, Gundam. Basically, Z. Zoomer. Okay. Uh, anyways, near. Not part of the Adult Swim crowd, huh? Here. Are you are you gonna watch it? Um, yeah. I mean, Inuyasha was like Inuyasha was like the show I stayed mm -hmm. up late to watch as a kid, mm -hmm. right? Because so. it was dubbed by by Canada, yeah, by Ocean. Yeah. I definitely also sprinted through a lot of the Inuyasha like manga. I was like, I was literally just like marathoning it. It was it was back at then. It was pretty wild, but yeah. Gotta make the gotta make the journey. <laughs> gotta make the journey. <laughs> The pilgrimage. Uh, the pilgrimage. The fucking Mecca. Toast. The thing about Rumiko Takahashi is her series past Inuyasha not all that great. Re mm. Re Rene was okay, I guess. But it was more I guess Ranma than Inuyasha. Mm. This is not made by Rumiko Takahashi, so what point does that have made? What point am I making here? The point is I'll watch it. Why not? It's an Inuyasha sequel. Inuyasha is pretty cool. Yeah. I, I I could reach out. I'm going to reach out right now and put on my Inuyasha Anime Club t-shirt. Both <laughs> the red and the blue one. Heck yeah. The the thing is, uh, I, I'm $60 just dollars each, Spire. You know how much that was? The people who day? think that uh, Konosuba and ReZero are like ancient anime or whatever it is now. <laughs> they're, they're right, though. <laughs> they're yes, not. That uh, ten, ten years? Oh, oh Kona Soup is right, five years. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> Don't remember anime two years ago. <laughs> five entire years. Anyways, uh, moving I, on. Because, you know, we, we've gone over this before, how anime comes in a five to ten year cycles. It's like <laughs> Kamen Riders. You've gone over this. It, this is, it's like, it's like comets or something like that. It's like comets that come, come, come close to the earth. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm just going to go over some other series. This is like a couple of smut series, I think. I'm just going to go over them real quick here. Uh, one's like Eternity Shinya Nurekoi Channel. Uh, I'm looking at this trailer and I'm not, or I'm already not pleased by it. Um, is, is it. Is it five minutes with a uncensored on like NTX or something? Probably. Nice. Uh, I'm in. The, the other one is uh, also sort of smut or whatever or whatever the fuck it is is otonya otonanya otonanya koi no shikata ga wakarane uh uh it's like uh, the what is it it's like, i don't I, I don't know i don't know how to um uh, i don't know the adult ways of love i believe is sort of the more direct translation here um this is also part of the Comic Fest, the sort of smut line, smut Jose, whatever line of series. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Next. My sits. I'll watch it. Apparently, it's a dude who has a nine to five job. <laughs> I don't think that's. Anyways. Uh, wow. Next. Uh, my fantasy come to life. life. <laughs> <laughs> next. My sits. So this is. Uh, Four 19-year-old women. Fuki Rin Mafia Nights. Oh, shit, dude. 
That's that's very precise. <laughs> Poor nineteen year old. Exactly very precise. By nineteen. They're exactly not illegal. <laughs> Are trying to become comedians, diligently honing their routines while working part time jobs. With the philosophy that quote unquote laughter makes people happy, and if everyone's happy, I'm happy. They aim to take the stage at the renowned Nanda Grand Kagetsu Hall. For now, they settle for working their way up from the bottom doing shows in Shibuya. So uh, this is done by Studio Gokumi. Yes, this is what I expected uh, from, from the art. Studio Gokumi and Axis, which I haven't heard of before. They've done all of this uh, in-between stuff. Uh, yeah, do they do any animation production? No, I believe this is their... F- no, they did the cool... Kuhaku no Pandora, which is like probably some, sort of like OVA or some bullshit. Um, oh, they did. Uh, they it's helped. Insane, they helped a little bit with um the the Kinjo no Vampire or something like that the 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 Vampire Lolly Girl whatever, and then they did uh Kuiski, uh Quis- Quiski, like the ramen or whatever it is the series, a little bit. So they did a small series here and there. They did um, um Wakamama High Spec. Yes. So they did small projects here and there. Studio Gokumi, obviously, um a bigger series. They did a lot of stuff here and there. Um uh, stuff like Old Nomina, Yabo, et cetera, et cetera. Um they're working together for this. I don't know whether this is this isn't a short, right? This is full. Uh I might check this out. This the premise seems pretty interesting and um <laughs> Uh, the art doesn't look too, too much. The art doesn't look too ghetto, so I guess I'll check this out. Dark. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm checking it out. <laughs> all right. Oh, so I wish, Near? I wish like all I'll say is I wish like Japanese comedy like had jokes. Yeah. Shit. No. Yeah. yeah. Like I wish it had more like crossover with like Western comedians and shit. It's no. it's it's actually okay. So uh, basically, I just want to see like you know Adam Sandler in this series. The the very a uh, very interesting thing is like you know like sketch comedians and stuff like that, right? Um, there's actually no inherent Japanese word, or I I don't know if this even exists in like Korea or, or Korean or Chinese, but there's no specific word for the type of comedy that exists in uh, the English-speaking world. You know what I mean? Like the, the sort of sketch and sort of, you know, that sort of like the, the, the like, you know, make... What about like stand-up? Orient, like Chris Rock, yeah, stand-up. There's actually no word for that in Japan, in Japanese. And uh, I forget if, it, if there is a word like that in Korean. It's actually... Uh, pretty interesting so it's like i mean i guess that's yeah. not that surprising though, because like stand-up <laughs> isn't even like stand-up comedy isn't even a fucking word in the english language so right, i guess right, that's not right. like that surprising right right but it's interesting because it's like they they it's like there's like words sort of around it, like humor and stuff like that but it's like when we say like when like in japan like it, it's talk about like comedians or whatever stuff like that right it's them. It's generally talking about like, like going on shows and stuff like that, right? Like yeah. being being in like specific like comedy show, sort you of show. Watch or, Gaki no Tsukai. Or, yeah, yeah, Gaki no Tsukai, like uh, comedy sort of punishment game, bots game shows, or like doing manzai stuff. But it's specifically not like stand up, whatever. It's it's very interesting. So, anyways. Uh, next, or sorry, uh, near. You can watch this. Um, I don't know why this reminds me of Mangirl so much. Mm, the art, right? Probably. Maybe. Um, I might check it out. Kind of cute. Okay. Uh, toast. It'd be funnier than the twenty-four hour bot or the twenty-four hour bots. I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, if if it's good if it's good Japanese humor that I can even I can understand maybe 
Okay. Well, it's not really. No, it I don't must want, what, what be was localized. It? What was that really weird word show that Nier liked? I don't want it to be like that. Word oh, show? Oh, word fuck, oh, you're right. Crunchyroll subs this. Yeah. B better not be one of them Rakugo shoujos. I mean, Rakugo wasn't a... It wasn't comedy, so... You know. <laughs> then why even watch it? I don't want to know Japanese words. Yeah, like, you're right. English. You're right. <laughs> Honestly, if media isn't funny, it's fucking worthless. So. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, and maybe one non-funny show that's laugh good. clown. <laughs> Anyways, next on the line is uh another uh series that I would say has a pretty big cult following in Japan. It is Muno Muno Nana, uh, or Talentless Nana, which is a manga original. An academy I've heard about on. This before. Yeah, an academy on an island in unnavigable waters. There, tra students train tirelessly to fight back against the enemies of humanity. Nana, a student newly transferred there, also sets out with the intention of eradicating all enemies of humankind. So this is done by Bridge, uh, Bridge Studios. They've done a lot of like small stuff here and there, helped out with you know bigger movies, so on and so forth, but. I don't think they've really done um they've really taken on like some like really big thing. Oh, they said they were they were apparently the studio plan behind the uh Oh the new Shaman. Yes, and that's happening next year. So that's gonna be interesting. But beyond that, I don't think they've taken up anything really big until now. Or like as like a main studio that is. Oh, they did Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens, huh? <laughs> it got I, a little bit better, but I still hate Rush Duels. So I might I might watch this. I mean, Talentless Nana is something I've again a manga that has been. I think I saw Talentless Nana like probably. Did it come out like five plus years ago? Like it was a oh, long time ago. Maybe. Right? Yeah, it's like, pretty. Not... It's pretty ancient. <laughs> yes, it's an ancient manga. Thank you, Toast. But uh, it's it's been a long time since I've seen this floating around on on places. So, um, I might check it out. I don't know. Um, Dark. What about you? No, I'm all right. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll wait for you. You don't like Battle Academy series? How come? Dark? <laughs> yeah, name one good come, Battle Dark? Academy series. Aspire? Uh, uh, near. Does, um, does the manga look this much like uh, My Hero Academia? Uh, <laughs> it looks somewhat similar if I remember clearly. Hmm. Because this looks like it's really trying to emulate My Hero Academia. Um, oh, it looks, it looks a little bit more like more like shaded like dark slash edgy i think than uh what the anime shows but uh right the anime is the anime so yeah um what studio is doing this again bridge studios again oh, the one yeah. behind the new shaman king and then they also did i believe you said uh what is it yeah yeah Yu-Gi-Oh. yeah you get sevens i think i'll pass for now okay uh, toast. Speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what else had a battle academy? Duel Academy. That was also on a deserted island. For some reason. Okay, Am so... I gonna watch this? Are you gonna watch it? No. Okay. Uh, next here. By the grace of the gods. Amigami knows something, something. That's all I remember. Yeah, it's it's another isekai. Yeah, I'm in. Going. He okay. wants to. He wants to train. He's training stuff. He's going into isekai. It's fantasy. Blah 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 blah. blah. I'm I might. Read, I read this. It sucks. I might. This is the other stuff that the Maho film is doing, other than the uh, the the other isekai that we just covered. I'm probably I might check an episode out of this, but I mean, if I might as I would just read the light novel probably. Oh, if I had to. The slime one, yeah. This I was gonna say this is the bad one, but no, this is the good one. Yeah. I'll just do. I'll just read the light novel. So probably pass. Dark. 
I might check it out, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not like ecstatic about it or anything. Like, I watched the PV. It seems like it could be okay. Um, okay. And you? It just kind of depends on like the yeah. world building and everything more than anything. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, it's going to be easy going. So I don't know how much world building it'll do. So, anyways, near. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Toast. Dude. You you like cleaning the latrines using slimes? Because that's what he made a job out of. Oh my god. They're all like, wow, your slimes eat all that poop so well. It's better than our normal cleaners. Please make this your current, your permanent job. He's like, damn, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I watch it. This, this one's decent. There was, I thought this was another show that will suck, but no, this one's pretty decent. It's very slow. Slow life, isekai. Not much fighting or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm in. All right. Next is manga original Sleepy Princess and the Demon Castle. Maojo de Oyasumi. Princess Cialis is Cialis as in like the drug? <laughs> Shadis. Shadis is getting trying to get a new <laughs> good night's sleep. I I keep trying to like resist the urge to call her Cialis. <laughs> Long ago in olden times when people and demons live together in disharmony, a demon can kidnap the human princess and imprison her in his castle. Bereft, the princess's subjects beat their chests in anguish until a hero rises to the rescue. While she waits for her knight in shining armor, the princess decides to while away the long hours by sleeping, if it weren't for her pesky insomnia. Um, this is Dogokobo? Yep. This is the Dogokobo series? Yep. Uh, you like Komi-san? That's the same author. Oh, the art looks pretty good. These, oh wait, no! Is this just the manga art? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there's a, not. There's like another one in the PV where it looks alright. Mm. Alright though. I mean, it's it, look, it looks solid. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not like it's. It's yeah. not like it's gonna be bad. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. Uh, dark. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I'm getting like an almost inverse. Uh, what's it called? Vibe from it. Uh, was it a series that came out like two seasons ago? With um, no, no, it was like not two seasons ago, maybe three seasons ago by now. Mm -hmm. With um, Beelzebub, or, uh. or it was yeah. like hell was just like all like the cutesy shit. Right. Uh, right. yeah. So probably gonna check this out. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. You know, she uh looks like she cut. <laughs> guts uh, teddy bear demons to stuff a pillow so uh, that'll be something near um yeah they look solid <laughs> toast honestly i started i i read the manga for a while i liked it for a while then it started to get monotonous and i lost interest in it and that is just read call me son but <laughs> you know yeah, the not, how, the not in this series. How many? How many? How many times can you find ways to sleep without it getting boring? The series. <laughs> okay. It is. I mean, I'm not. I I got bored of the manga, so no thanks. But no, by no means bad. Uh, okay, I can. I, get I that. get why people like it, but it got boring for me. Yeah, I can. I can understand that. Okay, the next one is also very big. Um. And it's also a Crunchyroll original. Uh, it is oh the Manha original. <laughs> the Manha original, Noblesse. Um, Rai wakes up from 820 years long sleep and starts his new life as a student in high school, founded by his loyal stu servant, Frankenstein. But his peaceful days with other human students are soon interrupted by mysterious attackers known as, quote unquote, the unions. Um, wow, the the uh, what the civil union, the worker union, yeah, yeah union really fucking hates unions. <laughs> wait, actually though, wait, hold on. A second. Wait, actually though, wait a minute. So yeah, this is Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll's trying this to tell us propaganda to like prevent Crunchyroll employees from unionizing. We get it, dude. <laughs> a little bit on the nose there, but yeah, uh, this is dumb by this is. 
headed by Production IG and obviously funded by Crunchyroll as part of their Crunchyroll Originals project. Um, it's not really an original, though, since obviously it is a manhwa adaptation. I am not going to watch this because uh, I'm not a big fan of whatever the fucking story was in the bus. Uh, Dark. No, uh, PV didn't look very good, um, and I don't like the premise either. And premise sounds fucking dumb. Yeah. Uh, near. You know, I was watching the PV, and I was like, this looks kind of generic, but like, it doesn't look terrible. And then it was like, but he's going to high school. And I was like, okay, <laughs> never mind. This looks like shit. <laughs> Fuck this, man. <laughs> yeah. But um, also, he's in school. He's, yeah. He got isekai and then he went to high school. <laughs> he got isekai into a world where he's fucking epic and he's super strong. And he's a secret agent. But then he goes to high <laughs> school. And he has to be a normal kid. <laughs> the isekai is just all high schools. Like <laughs> they're okay. all in high school. <laughs> I like I don't I don't want this like fucking nineties like family sitcom premise, dude. Like <laughs> fuck off. Mono isn't so dumb. So leave like the credits scroll up like fucking like family or some shit or like friends or something. Yeah, it's like it's like some fucking premise where it's like Jackie Chan's a secret agent working for the CIA. But now he has to babysit two kids. Yeah, the that, pass- that was the, yeah the pacifier the and Finn yeah. Diesel. <laughs> That's Fuck so good. Off, bro. <laughs> Toast. Are you gonna watch it? Fucking Agent Cody Banks. <laughs> no, but hit me up with the next one. That's mine. Okay. Uh, next one is actually pretty popular too. It is Kuma 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 Bear. So. That in, what's that in English? It is uh, it bear, 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 Kuma. Bear, 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 yeah. Fifteen uh, year old Yuna prefers staying home and obsessively playing her favorite VR MMO game to doing anything else, including going to school. When a strange new update gives her a one of a kind bear outfit that comes with overpowered abilities, Yuna is torn. The outfit is unbearably cute, but too embarrassing to wear in game. But then she suddenly finds herself transported into the world of the game, facing down monsters and mo- magic for real, and the bear suit becomes her best weapon. By the way, um, this is this series is also quite popular in uh, Japan, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's like it is kind of has the same sort of obviously vibe and probably similar following as uh, Bogyo, uh, Bogyoruku, um, the the defense thing, right? The, what is it? Uh, what it what was it? Uh, Bofuri, right? Bofuri. I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. It probably has the same vibe, so that's why I became popular like that. Um, it is done by EMT Squared, and um, I don't think it, I mean EMT Squared, uh, relatively well known tier two studio. They've done a lot of stuff. I mean, Okoko, they did uh, Destructive God, Kuten, um, Kumamiko, so on and so forth, a lot of stuff. They're solid on audiovisuals. Obviously, you can see that in this preview. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to watch this. I mean, there's no reason not to, to be honest, for me. <laughs> I'm probably going to watch this. Dark? Yeah, I'll check it out. Okay. Uh, near. Um, I'm not a criminal, so I'll pass. Wow. She's only <laughs> yeah, it's here? in a video game. It's in a video game. It's a video game. <laughs> Dude, oh. She's like 15. She's not like 12 or 8. It's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go on record with that? <laughs> Toast. Are you going to watch it? Yeah. I, I read the manga. It's good. You know. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Um next then. This one is a fucking long name. This is Our Last Crusade or The Rise of a New World. It's a light novel. I believe I've seen this light novel somewhere before. 
But um, anyways, the alternative title is <sighs> fucking. Kimi to Boku no Saigo no Senjo, Arui wa Sekai ga Hachimaru Seisen. So, for years, a great war has raged on between the scientifically advanced empire and a paradise of witches known as the Nebulous Sovereignty. The a- this this age old battle sets the scene for a fateful encounter between the two young combatants, an imperial swordsman, Iska, and the witch princess, Alice. Come on, Alice. <laughs> Uh, as sworn enemies, <laughs> fuck you, Japan. As sworn enemies, yeah, yeah, they yeah, Alice Lee. Yeah, as sworn enemies, they vow to cut each other down in order to unite their worlds. And yet, Iska finds himself entranced by her beauty, Alice Lee's beauty, that is, and righteousness. While Alice Lee is moved by his strength, Iska's strength and resolve. Can we have better pronouns in this description summary? Thanks. In the midst of a never-ending war that forbids them from being together they have no choice but to destroy each other or find another way uh that's pretty much how that goes or two uh, essentially romeo and juliet kind of shit wow going on here. i'm gonna go out on a fucking crazy limb here and say maybe they find another way um <laughs> uh, this is done by silver links so yes this is the silver link series for this uh for this season obviously filled with um a bunch of pretty solid Pretty solid cast here. Um, Amamiya Sora, Tenchan, uh, Kobayashi Yusuke, uh, Taketsu Aina, uh, Waki Azumi, what is it? Ishihara Kaori, uh, Hanamori Yumiri, so on and so forth. Uh, oh, and this is also being uh, co directed by Onuma Shin, uh, one of the wow. probably the major director at Silverlink for now, right? So, yeah. Um, am I going to watch this? I don't know, man. I might watch one or two episodes, but it's like... <sighs> the premise is already depressing to me enough, honestly. <laughs> the, premise, the premise is already depressing me enough, so I don't know. Um, I'll probably watch one or two episodes and then dip if it doesn't become... If the pace doesn't, you know... It, the, I know the pace initially is going to be like fucking molasses. If it becomes... Not molasses within like two episodes, I'll be okay with it. I might watch like a third episode. If it stays that way, I'm out. I'm fucking out. I don't want I don't want fucking slug on a slug on a piece of tape, you know, kind of pacing here. Uh dark. Well, with a name like Elise Elise, uh no, <laughs> I'm alright. Uh, like that it's a pretty big red flag for me. I know it's simple, but like that to me is just like yeah. it has two leases, dude. <laughs> what was that series with the girl named like Easy Floozy or something? <laughs> I know. I fucking oh, know. T- uh, taboo tattoo, and it was Bluesy yeah. Floozy, wasn't it? Bluesy yeah. Floozy, fucking Christ, dude. Oh my god! But this it, Elias it... least was literally that fucking Kit Boga joke I told I was telling you the other day. Was the <laughs> main character in Taboo Tattoo literally like, ma- named like Stegi or something for like Justice or some shit? Yeah, I think it was Stegi, and then they <laughs> nicknamed him Justice or something. Yeah, so fucking like, a, so like his, his name was Stegi Justice. <sighs> fucking a. <laughs> <laughs> Japan sucks, dude. <laughs> I hate Japan actually. Fuck. Fuck everything we said before. I, mean, I just hate Japan. Well, I like Japan. <laughs> Nier, are you gonna watch I this? I love Jap- I love sushi. Yeah. This, um, this princess is just Mashiro Shina but with tits. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna watch or, this. Or um, like the Dan Machi, the that girl with right. It's like a... yeah. um. Tell us, are you gonna watch it? Toast is dead. Yeah, what? You not hear me? Watch it? What? Now we can. I didn't hear you. Yeah, I'll watch it. Okay. Maybe. Uh, yeah, next one I'm probably just going to cover real quick because it's just a sequel more than anything else. Um, But it is like, it Return was... The King, baby. <laughs> I, I think the series is big enough in terms of like the impact it has had on even like other anime series, honestly. Uh, So... So the so strike which is road to Berlin. So this is actually interesting because um, if you actually look at the trailers, World like, War Two. Is this YouTube? World War Two? <laughs> toast. Uh, so this road to Berlin sequel, right? 
I believe it was announced like years ago, right? Yeah. Like like two years ago, and then like it like never, it kind of died, right? And then it came back. I believe is how it works. Um, I thought it was so... they announced two projects like two or three years ago. Oh really? And then and then like this one just kind of like got delayed somehow. Strike, which but... is a, a very rocky production history. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely very rocky. But uh, this one made it out, and this one is not the the slice of life one that we saw, I believe, a year ago. Yeah. Um, it is. This is a legit sequel to Strike, which is two, and Strike, which is two, actually was fucking ten years ago, which is actually surprising. I, I, I was like, oh, fuck, I was dude. Pretty- a strike which I was like, oh, strike which is well, that was that was like whatever, right? Apparently, it was fucking ten years ago. That was uh, like when I saw that on Wikipedia. Oh I was fucking, my god! Um, but yeah, fucking strike witches. If you want to watch it, watch it. Obviously, you guys know who you are. It's by yeah. the, it's by the crowd. It's by the it's by the uh, everybody that was there in the initial production is there here now, I believe. David production, you know everybody, all the all the voices that are that you love here are here now. Blah 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 blah. So watch it if you watch it if you like Strike Witches. Don't watch it if you don't. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Moving on. Uh, Akudama Drive. <laughs> uh, long ago, there was a war between Kanto and Kansai. By the way, if you don't know um, what that is, Kanto is uh, the east. East Japan and Kansai is West Japan, uh, and the world was split apart. Wow, the Japan. world of Japan. Yeah, the world. No, the world, the entire world, dude. Oh shit, dude. It's over how uh, Japan split. Uh, Kansai, West Japan, became Western state of Kanto, East Japan, and uh, and developed its own particular way, and was developed in its own particular peculiar way. However, the power of the government and the police is waning, and the crime is widespread. Oh, man, we're getting into fucking uh, cyberpunk, steampunk kind of shit here. These criminals are called Akudama. As these Akudama gather together in one place, their aesthetics will... What does that mean? Their aesthetics will... Their aesthetics. (laughs) And an ordinary girl will be caught up in the world of crime. So I believe this is cyberpunk. Punk, right? Oh, this like, is like yeah, it is dystopia, yeah. yeah. Like a like a dystopia, like a New yeah. York rap battle or something. Yeah. West Coast versus this is dystopia. This is done by Piero Studios. It's like uh, Piero, obviously, uh, pretty well known. I want to say tier one point five, tier two studio. What's a um, tier? What's a tier zero point five studio then? Zero point five. Zero point five would be like. <laughs> It's like if uh like Kyoani didn't burn down after file at Evergarden, that would be like zero point five. Fucking they'll be they'll be up there. Man. Um but anyways, uh they have the money, they have you know, the voice acting cast is pretty solid here. Uh is this anime original? Yes, this is anime original. Uh honestly, I mean the the premise is very vague. It's like I don't hate the premise. I don't hate these sorts of premises, but it's it can literally go like anywhere. You know what I mean? And just because it has some sort of like backbone in terms of like wow, there's some cyberpunk dystopian boss that they have to fuck with, like crime lord that they have to fuck with, doesn't like it doesn't mean anything to me. Like you know, it all depends on the pacing, the context, so on. Uh, I might, I'll probably watch a couple episodes and hoping that the plot solidif- solidifies itself uh, promptly. Dark. Yeah, I'll probably check it out. Um, Big Dread Man looks cool, as does Man with Mask. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, near. Some of the CG shots looking uh, not so hot. Uh, though, yeah, parts. the CG shots <laughs> and some of the... Yeah, yeah I'm not... I'm um, I'm feeling this uh PV pretty hard, but like, um, the idea is vague though. It's like yeah, super... I mean the premise is whatever, but like I'm looking at this director, mm-hmm. and um, he's what directed you... Twin Star Exorcist, the oh, new no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, 
Did you want to get your last evolution? Kizuna? Oh, no. Oh, is it Digimon the last? Wait, the Kizuna one is the one where they had the uh, fucking ending where, where like, the, the, the Digidestin, like, the first generation Digidestin, like, we're just like, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna not, like, I'm, or, like, um, where is it? Asora, right? Was well, just like, yeah, I'm just gonna give up, dude. Like, fuck this. Yeah, so, I think so. Um, oh, my God, this is so bad. And the Persona movies, so I'm not like super confident in this one, but like I'll I'll check it out. Oh my god, this is such a bad director. PV look cool. I'll check it out. I like how you're like, yeah, this PV is cool. But the moment I saw the director, yeah, the moment I saw the director, I was like, yeah, this is gonna suck dick. But I'll check it out. No, hey, hey, he only directed. Episode 11 of the new Kino no Tabi, okay? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyways. Imagine what a masterpiece the new Kino no Tabi could have been if he directed all of it, dude. <laughs> I want to know which one. I can't remember which one episode 11 was, too. No, nah, he was the director. He was just he the, was the director. whole director? Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean... See, like, if it was just that, it'd be like, okay. Because, like, I don't know. I didn't think the new Kino no Tavi was, like, particularly... Yeah, but you terrible. haven't watched the original Kino no Tavi, so, like, you have no frame <laughs> yeah. of reference. But I don't think as, like, standalone, like, it was that, it was, like, bad. But, like, he doesn't like yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing fucking, like, um, what's it called up there with it? Like Twin Star Exorcist, Star Exorcist. bro. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyways, uh, n- wait, sorry. Um, Toast. You gonna watch uh, this? Uh, hey man, maybe all all he needed was an original. All right. <laughs> Been kept uh, down. It's, it's, it reminds me damn of damn ideas for too long. What? what? What's that? What's that movie with the Grease Lightning song? Grease was just just Grease. Grease? Yeah, it reminds me of Grease, where they have like rap battles on the streets and they're that constant snapping. I don't think they're doing that, dude. There's like explosions and shit going on in the TV. Yeah, there's like a hallway of like murdered guards. Like, what do you mean, dude? Not yeah, like that's, high school that's the Grease, dude. That's the Grease I know. Or no, what is it? Warriors. You're John yeah. Travolta fucking gun down. Yeah, I mean, well, that's it's not like, like wait, Warriors. No, you're still Warriors, Warriors doesn't have. Warriors you're doesn't describing have musical three. Around. You're combining three different movies into one. You're combining West Side Story, fucking Grease. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> What's one? What's the one where it's like Warriors come out to play? Yay! Isn't that just Warriors? That's the Warriors. Yeah, that's yeah. the Warriors. But they don't snap. They, the they snapping don't, fucking don't. gang is West Side Story. Oh. Yeah, they don't sing in the Warriors, dude. Well, this is about aesthetics, right? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't, we don't know what this is about. I don't know dude. whose aesthetic is like hallway of murdered guards. That's my aesthetic. <laughs> Anyways, uh moving on. This one is this one is also somewhat popular. I think um it is light, light novel. I believe there was also a manga adaptation of it. Okay, I know we moved on, but I I have to call attention to this. So, for Akadama Drive, the characters' names are the main character is Smuggler. Uh there's a character name <laughs> Character named Murderer. <laughs> There's a character named Ordinary Person. Um, the black dude with the dreads is Brawler. By the by the way by the way what the name the names that Nier is talking about aren't like they're not like he's not talking about like side characters that anime oh, needs to okay. listed yeah, as Yeah, and their Zola. names are going to be are their literally names names are in, in Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, exactly. They are named in Japanese, like um. Like Mao Yu, like Mao Mao to Mao no Yusha or whatever, and then um, what is it? Some of the other like f- f- fantasy series where they had just like do- like knight or like female knight stuff like that as like names. Like they have actual names like brawler or doctor. Yeah, or yeah. Has names. Yeah, 
I guess hacker is just hacker. <laughs> nice. Uh, anyways. Uh, Arachi Toshimamura is the series I want to cover. Arachi Toshimamura. Uh, Arachi and Shimamura, two young women who attend the same high school, are inseparable friends. Whether playing table tennis, chatting about favorite TV shows, or just relaxing together, they're happy to share their days. When Adachi's friendship turns into romantic attraction, the relationship begins to change one day at a time. So pretty uh, standard, slow-paced um, Yuri series. I heard that the sort of developments were quite good, and that's probably part of why it's popular. Um, yeah, not much else to say about Tesco Productions. Uh, the names are all uh, pretty big. Ik- uh, Ito Miku as Shimamura, Kito Akari as Adachi, other you know people in the cast, Numakuro Manami, Ure Reina, stuff like that. I'm probably going to watch it, but I also want to really read the light novel slash manga. Dark. Um, I might either wait for you, or I don't know, maybe I'll be brave enough, because I don't believe anyone who watches like just straight Yuri. So... <laughs> okay. Uh near. I don't know, man. Like this looks <sighs> looks This looks in. solid. It looks solid, but like <sighs> my problem with Yuri is it never like like it never goes, you know? Like it's What do you mean? It it, it fucking dangles the carrot in front of your fucking face and then it never like it doesn't become a real relationship. Like. Yeah, it never it never moves forward. Oh, know? okay. Oh, I like I. There's oh, no after story. Oh, yeah. I, I have like feelings it. for yeah, you, like but maybe, but that's kind of fucking weird, you know? It's like, yeah. oh my god, just fucking kiss and get over with it. Like, there's no, there's very few like after story. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't it doesn't know. Even need to be like, like an after story. After story it could just be like it just, it just anything needs, with an actual relationship. Develop into some sort of conclusion. You know, That's true. if this one goes somewhere, maybe. But um, I've got a sneaking suspicion. Call me crazy, um, <laughs> but I have a feeling this one might not go anywhere. Yeah, so, apparently it's it's definitely on the slower end. I think I've heard. Yeah, I think I'll wait. Yeah, Cause... the fact that you said the developments are good, but it's on the slower end is like I'm like. But which is it though? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that sounds like something that like. Typical Yuri fans will say about like pretty much every series, like yeah, it's pretty good, but it's a little slow. <laughs> it's, a little they, slow. it's got it's good development. By chapter eighty, they hold hands. Yeah, typically what that translates to is um, there are no developments and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> you do have a point. Toast. He's dead. Toast is dead. He's not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one is another huge one. Um, <laughs> near, near, near knows what I'm taking. It's a big sigh here. Yeah. Uh, it is the day I became a god, also known as Kamisama ni Natahi. Natahi. It is. The long-awaited Key Studios slash PA Works collaboration. It is an anime original. It is a series that is pretty much uh, creatively headed, scripted, whatever, by Jun Maeda. Uh, obviously, he he is the original creator. He's writing music, blah blah. He's pretty much every, heading everything. Um. There's Yanagi Nagi. Uh, if you don't know what that name is, uh, go away. Uh, singing. There's everybody just fucking hopping onto. The, hop, everybody's all the fucking train is is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Even even the fucking even the fucking voice cast is Sakura Ayane, Hanae Natsuki, Ishikawa Yui, Kimura Ryuhei, Kuahara Yuki. They're all big names. Fucking the smallest. The the out of these cast members, the smallest name is Kuahara Yuki. Kuahara Yuki is the one who did um um Toru in uh 
is famous for Toto and um, Kobayashi san, she no made dragon. So, yeah, there's a lot of money. It's pay work slash key. I'm, I'm gonna already cry. getting. I'm gonna fucking I'm already. Cry. You're. I'm like not even gonna like. You watch it, people. Like, watch like it. I'm not even gonna watch this, and I'm just gonna like. I'm like, gonna watch download, Twitter. You're gonna, I'm gonna watch download Twitter. episode one, and then just gonna start like fucking crying. Like, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna watch Twitter just for the reactions. Like, <laughs> you're not even gonna watch it. Oh the my god! Just like. Thinking about this series is so fucking stressful, dude. Thinking about <laughs> thinking about just like every anyways, uh obviously I'm gonna watch this. Um uh, I'm probably gonna have to stick all the way through this. Like I there's no other answer for this. Dark. Oh I I should have no, the summary. I'm thinking too. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> You're gonna wait, this yeah. Is, yeah, what the fuck? Like I don't know I don't know what this is, but this sounds scary. <laughs> uh by the way, I don't let me, like... let me... Let me uh, put the summary up. All no, the, I, re- all the I read the summary, but like, no, 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 no. Reactions for the viewers. This, I'm just like, for, for the viewers, uh, although obviously in recent times, especially with like stuff like Summer Pockets, stuff like that, uh, Key Studios has been making more and more like vague, like, uh, yeah, dude, their um, next series is just gonna be like <laughs> a girl and a boy. <laughs> no, no, not even. It's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> That's really, <laughs> but uh, you know how it's like uh, in the old days. It's like with you know, Air kind of cloud It was like you know, like a, uh, a boy. You know, is in a town, and the town has some like magic in the air or some bullshit like that. But it's like for the most part, it's like a boy is like in a town. He gets used to friends and stuff like that, right? Um, and like even Little Busters, right? Little Busters was like everybody's kind of you know chilling and being friends, and like. Summer Pockets description was like, he visits an island and everything just changes there <laughs> with the secret of the island. I was just like, all right, what the fuck is going on? And then like, now this is like, I'm going to read the summary. And this is the real summary. Okay, guys. Um, uh, fucking Narukami Yota is a student focused only on his college entrance exams. During his last summer break of high school, he's approached by a girl named Tina who says she is the god of omniscience. She tells him that in 30 days, the world will end. At first, Yota doesn't believe her, but after she demonstrates supernatural predictive abilities, he becomes convinced her power is genuine. Hina, min- meanwhile, decides for some reason to stay at his house, and they begin a tumultuous vacation facing the end of the world together. So it's a okay. casual, you know, slice of life also. God, you know, philosophy, yes or no, ethics, blah, blah, blah right? Um... Yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, Key does better when they're putting the supernatural powers out there instead of trying to, you know, stuff it into the closet. That's what I've noticed, at least. Yeah. Um, I don't know how this will end up. There's just too many confounding factors in terms of, like, the coronavirus, you know, Jun Midas condition, whether he's in the hospital or not at whatever point. Uh, everything. There's just so many things. Uh, I don't know how it'll end up. I do hope it'll be good. Uh, near. Um, I don't know. I feel personally a lot more positive going into this one than I did for Charlotte. So oh, yeah, Charlotte was like Charlotte was just like kind of. It was out of nowhere. I mean, both of them were out of nowhere, but Charlotte was just like, oh yeah. You're kind of just making a series, I guess, kind of thing. Yeah. This is like Yanagi Nagi's coming in, fucking the cast is set up. Uh, it's like, it, yeah, it's I a feel long like announcement one, after a while. Yeah. yeah, this one has a lot of like planning, work, you know, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels like more of like a thought out production. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Charlotte's whether, just like, yeah. <laughs> whether that pans out, We'll see. Um, I mean, I I have to watch this, right? Like, yeah. I'm obligated. <laughs> uh, toast. Uh, uh, is that an isekai? It's not an isekai oh. toast. <laughs> it is not an isekai toast. So, so it's like it's like Clonad. Is Clonad an isekai? Clonad plus 
No. Little Busters plus Angel Beats plus. I think you're just naming all of them. <laughs> it's not Canon. It's not T. Or not if any of them. If any of them are Isekai, it's Angel Beats. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I sure love Doomer anime. <laughs> are you sorry watching it? Yeah. Okay. I, I I do I do like my June Mida. Okay. And I like my Naga. Did you know Angel Beats was made by Naga? That guy's pretty cool. Uh right, right. near. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next. In it to win it, baby. End of the world. Here I come. So a couple of series left here. Uh that you're sticking with us. Uh we have Yukoku no Moriati which is a uh, manga original. James Moriarty is an orphan who assumes the name William James Moriarty when he and his younger brother are adopted into the Moriarty family. Oh, hold on, hold on. His name is James Moriarty, but he assumes the name of James Moriarty when he gets adopted? No, 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 no. <laughs> at, present, he, at present, he is James Moriarty. The reason why he has the name James Moriarty is because he assumed it when... You know, uh, yeah, it should say him. assumed, not assumes. Yeah, assumes. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So it's um, like when Kenshin's real name isn't Kenshin, it's Kenji. No, that's not how. <laughs> that's what? not what the sentence is saying. What? But but, like, no, but when, he he could have had. He doesn't any have a different name. name. I don't know. He Shin basically Shinda. has no. Oh name. no, Ken, Kenji is the is the is the Sony redub of Kenshin. Shinta is his real name. My bad. James Moriarty is not uh, the reimagining of William James Moriarty. It's just the thing. <laughs> can, can I go on? Right. Well, as a young like man, how, it's like how Amelia Watson isn't really Watson, but has the name Watson. No, it's a little different. That's <laughs> oh still not what the name. Anyways, as a young man, he seeks to remove the ills caused by England's strict class system. What the fuck is this? This is a second production IG work? Preach, oh, brother. Man. Yeah. Please do not... This season. All I can say is production IG, please... I mean, wait, the only other stuff that they're doing is Noblesse, right? They're doing this and Noblesse, right? I, I believe so. Uh, If I had to choose between the is two, Moriarty I'd probably going choose to this high one. School or what? <laughs> I hope so. Who would win in a fight? Moriarty or Sherlock? Or no, Watson. Watson. Um, Probably Moriarty. Okay. This seems this seems uh pretty Fujoshi related. There's a lot of they're all boys actually. <laughs> um, yeah. I might check this out. I don't. I, the premise seems pretty funny to me, but I'm probably gonna dip soon. Isn't uh, isn't patriot strictly an American term? No, that is not. <laughs> how come we have a movie called not the even Patriot? Close. And how uh, come the boss's gun is called the Patriot? Uh, I, don't no see, I don't hear about patriotism in any other country. <laughs> Dark. Are you going to watch this? Uh, no. All right. Here. Um, Call me crazy, but I feel like Japan probably isn't going to be the best at um writing about class conflict in um, Victorian in, England. In, uh, yeah, in Victorian England. Hey um, man, they they've tried they've tried so hard to create fifty different anime Sherlock's in the past, you know, however many decades, right? So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe this all, one will be good. <laughs> all good, especially um Vampire Homes. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna watch this. Toast. I don't care for more. I don't care for the last detective series I watched that was interesting was Hida no Arya. This. <laughs> yeah, uh, he doesn't know Arya isn't exactly very uh, true to form or true to was it, true to was original. It, uh, wasn't one of the chicks named Lupa Fujiko Lupin or something? Yes, the blonde haired girl. She was. She was. Or no, it was Fujiko Mine. No, or something like that. Her name, her, her name was like. Her name was like. Uh, there was Mine and there was a Lupin, and I was like, what? Yeah. Anyways, uh, she was actually one of my more favorite girls. But anyways, that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, next manga original, Ochikobore fruit fruit tart. Um, dropout idol fruit tart. First year high school student Ino Sakura Black heads Bart. to Tokyo to pursue becoming an idol. She teams up with fellow Nesmi dorm residents, unpopular former child actor Roko, musician Hayu, and model Nina to form the new idol unit Fruit Tart. 
These dropout idols get back on their feet and enter the world of show business to prevent their dorm from being demolished. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I mean, seems. Is this a spinoff? Oh, these girls look uh, so familiar. To what? to Zombieland, you mean? No, I think they look familiar to that um the voice acting one, honestly. But to to which style. series? What to which uh, series? I, I don't I don't know. These girls just look so fucking familiar, but I can't. So this is to. this is by Feel Studios, by the way. Um, who Feel Studios? They did Bikini Warriors. They did uh, the Capo. What else? The Kashi Kashi. What else here? Boba. Hinamatsuri. Let's see this. Jinsei. What else is Kisses? They obviously they're they're Feel Studios is like definitely a solid like tier one point five studio, so uh they've done a lot of stuff over the years. I don't know what you what series you're referring to, I want to say. What I, what series are you referring to? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Um the pink haired girl looks for some reason to me, the pink haired girl in some of these shots looks exactly like the fucking pink haired girl from Utica. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right, you're right, oh, you're yeah, right. True. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. This this archetype isn't too uncommon though. So yeah. yeah. Uh but I'm probably going to watch this, yes. <laughs> I'm probably going to watch this. Uh Dark. Yeah, probably. Near. <sighs> nope. And toast. Drop out idle. Fruit tart, more like fart. No thanks. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm I'm already yeah. I'm already washed my hands clean of this idle business. No. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Magatsu War Hate is first. Uh, Leo Kad, Leo Kadi. Oh my god! What I title. fucking hate Japan so Let's much. Go. Like this, this seat. <laughs> you guys are lucky. I'm the only one reading this. I'm like I'm like trying to keep myself from like exploding over this. Leo Kada. Leo Kadio at Eighty Mile. Dude, this yeah. whole this whole paragraph is about to be incredible. The only Leo thing Ka- I understand is Magatsu. Leo Kadio at Eighty Mile live in the Warheight Warheight Empire, which is in the process of relocating its capital. Eighty Mile uh, works a carrier, thinking of the beloved sister. Uh, oh my God, who fucking wrote the sentence? Eighty Mile works a carrier. Anyway. I mean, they didn't even spell the name right, bro. They said Inumile in the first sentence and Inumile in the second sentence. Thinking, thinking of the beloved sister that it that uh that he left in his hometown. Well, Leo Cario is a naive young soldier dreaming of his future career. Meanwhile, the empire has been destroying. <laughs> what is the <this> sentence? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's predicted that this thing... many creatures, dude. You don't. Yeah. Well, what's not to understand? Many. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the Empire has been destroying many creatures. It's predicted that this will lead to the return of the light that released versions. What? What is this song? Fuck is that me? Light sorry, I apologize. What? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Viewers, viewers. I'm not laughing because, like, this, this premise. Somebody on Anime News Network was just terrible at writing a plot summary of this. So let me. Fucking. It is predicted that this will lead to this being, you know, the Empire destroying the creatures, will lead to the return of the light that released ferocious monsters into the world last time it appeared. Do you want me to so read I... the fucking mall summary? Inamile and Leo... Just, just a little link, more link, link like, it to me. Uh, Inamile and Leo Kadi are oblivious to this and to each other until a smuggling incident brings them together and changes the course of history. What the fuck is going on? Okay, let me let me read the mouth. I, I always Sorry. love when descriptions go. They're oblivious to everything until they're not. Like okay, <sighs> okay. Uh, in the Empire, countless human beings were once extinct, extinguished from the world. The return of the quote unquote light, which is a disaster that some of the ferocious monster into the world has been predicted. Um, and the remaining human spirits are devastated. Well, I don't know what this means. Uh, meanwhile, the fate of Inumile, Leo Cadio, and the history of the Empire will change drastically as a result of one weapon smuggling incident. <sighs> Is that original? 
So these two characters are like couriers, and they find some. No, no. Weapon. One's a, one's a soldier, and the other one's a, like a, a transporter slash like he's like a pack mule, I think, or something uh-huh. like that. Right? And he finds some secret weapon, and they get sucked in. Yeah, crazy. both of them get involved in in a smuggling incident. Yeah. I don't know if one of them's like actually smuggling or not, but both of them get involved in the incident. And then this incident concerns the history of the empire and monsters being released and the future of humanity. Blah 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 blah. It's how it works. And then this is probably I haven't seen the trailer, but I'm gonna guess it's steampunk. Somebody this correct me if I'm wrong. By the way, is it steampunk here? It's. By um, the way, this is being supported by Klab, uh, Clab, Mr. Klabu, please. <laughs> uh, this is steampunk, right? What is it? It looks like it's like um. Oh, it, is this just feudal? It looks like, um, just like... Feudal leaning into steampunk or what, what's that? Yeah, like, like semi-magical, like, feudal history. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is done by Yokohama Animation Lab. I believe this is probably one of these, like, newly, like, you know, funded places that are like, wow, we want to train new animators or some shit like that, probably, or something like that, right? And original work was by K-Lab. Um, I believe this is a game original, right? Oh, so. yeah. Um, and things are happening, and things are getting blown up, and blah 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 blah. Uh, I'm going to wait for reviews on this. <laughs> I'm going to wait for reviews on this for sure. Near. Um, probably not. <laughs> uh, dark. Uh no. Okay. Go play uh, FF14 play the- Shadow. Yeah, FF14. <laughs> uh a toast. Toast is dead again. No. Okay. I don't want I, I don't I I don't want that. Okay, okay, yeah. I I kinda get, get that so it's probably a pretty big no for pretty much all of us. But yeah, that wraps it up for the anime. Can we, uh, sorry for, again, to the viewers for dragging on a little bit long. Obviously, the tangent kept us a little bit up er, up late. But uh, if I can have everybody go through a brief sort of you know thoughts on what the se- upcoming season might be like. Uh, I personally think, um, honestly, it's both nice that the season is getting on and it's also a little bit worrying that you know that they're going full speed at in the middle of again this crisis health crisis right um i hope everybody stays safe that's obviously the biggest thing whatever anime is whatever but obviously lives is more important than that um however right in japan does stay safe and what i also kind of hope that is like i hope that these months of you know the 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 health crisis and stuff like that have really changed some like mentalities and like models animation models and systems over in Japan um because obviously as we kept talking about you know the animation industry over there they've been continually kind of going on this sort of bubble right there's been more and more and more expenses and you know less getting paid to artists less and less and less getting paid to artists there's so much bottlenecking and just this bubble growing where you know, studios were going bankrupt and, you know, it was unsustainable, right? Um, I hope this, you know, pandemic really kind of changed some perspectives on how to run things. Um, I, I don't know. It, obviously, it wasn't great for, it wasn't very good for artists and voice actors and stuff like that. But I hope that the management can kind of look for better ways to kind of run things newer ways to run things i just hope is is how is what i hope for um uh this season honestly looks pretty solid i'm not gonna lie um it has pretty much all the run of the mill like everything and then it just i mean even in a regular season this would be even in the regular year i i I honestly believe that this would be a pretty standout season just with all the big heavy hitters and uh, the titles that are pretty decent and stuff like that. So I think it'll be pretty nice, honestly. Near? Um, I think it's a pretty decent season. Um, there were a lot more things that I'm, you know, 
looking forward to watching uh, than I thought I would. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, it's just, um, I don't know, the chef stuff really has me down. But uh, what can you do? Well, I mean, honestly, um, I don't, I don't want to say this exactly. I don't, think, I don't think my phrasing is very good right now, but it's, it's 1 a.m. in the morning, so I'm going to do what I can. But um, I think digging their way out in this way, even if they're doing some stupid fucking shit, like just kind of trying to do a second-rate Magical Girl series, I think this is a... Even this is better than what they were doing previously, which is just like doing some stupid-ass shit like every once in a while and then kind of 80%, 90% relying on, you know, Bakemonogatari, Madoka, Hidamari sketch, you know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. Just like whatever money. I don't so I think, know. I think. You know. Yeah, imagine if like we got more Hitamari sketch or something. Like that would be <laughs> absolutely insane. Like, wow. But yeah. Good. Um looks like a good season to me. Okay. Dark. Um yeah, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. Uh we got Go Choose a season three, buddy. All right. Yes. So. Oh, uh, by the way, there we didn't mention a lot of these sequels, but there are a lot of other solid sequels out there too. For instance, Golden Kamui new season, uh, Gochu Gochusa um, uh, new season, a couple of other ones that are the Mahoka, I believe, got a new season. There yeah, were, we don't need to talk about that though. So. <laughs> there, are, there are a bunch of other big titles that we didn't mention because uh, again of our sort of what we what we like to do. But even besides the ones, that, like, even the ones we didn't mention, there, there are plenty of big hitters. Yeah, uh, keep going. I mean, that was really it. that's all I was gonna say. It's it seems pretty solid. I mean, there there's like a lot of shows that could go either way, but I think there's a lot of safe ones too. Okay. That are at least gonna be solid. So. Uh, and toast. What's the funniest show this season? Funniest show this season? Probably the uh. This season might know. be better than last season, but I don't see any funniest shows on here. I don't. I don't know if I have a proper ranking of the funniest um, shows this season. In my obviously, head right now, the one with the comedians. Akutama Drive. Are you yeah. sure? That's the potential to be the funniest shit in the fucking year. <laughs> Are you sure you're not thinking of... Uh... I forgot. Nice. But yeah, this <laughs> season's better than last season, but... It's just, it's the calm before the storm of 2021. <laughs> what with the PS5 being released and the big name Isekai that are going to be next year, too. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can't right. wait for more Isekai. Yes. <laughs> so. Oh, don't yeah. worry, Dark. Isekai will die soon because it'll be the rise of VTuber anime. My dad Please is a VTuber. Stop. That's gonna get an anime. We fucking had VTuber anyways. anyways. Yeah, but they were they were not bad. But well, I mean, virtual, they're virtual not gonna, was all right. They're not gonna be much better than that. And I don't. I've. I. I can't watch the uh, Hollow Live one with Toginosaur and Matsuri and Subaru. I don't know where to find that. Anyways, uh, thank you all for uh, listening in. It's a little bit of a long preview, but I'm thankful to everybody who stuck along. Uh, we are going to be, yeah, I mean, there are more than enough series this season. So assuming that, you know, half of them don't get delayed, right? We're all crossing our fingers here. Uh, assuming that they don't all get delayed, we are just going to be going full on Steam. We're not going to be having our uh, roundtables or anything that we're just going to be going full on Steam. In the next podcast episode with the new series seasons, as per usual, we're probably going to be doing the lighter season series first, like the more episodics, slice of life kind of stuff, before we head into the heavier sort of heavier plot, longer plot arc kind of series. So yeah, watch out for that. If you like what we do, please uh, 
follow us on our channel www.twitch.tv slash foreplay anime cast where we talk about the latest and greatest in Japanese animation media, anime manga, light novels, web novels, visual novels, and so much more. So we talk about that every other Saturday starting from 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we uh, record our podcast live again on this Twitch channel. We have our highlights of all the episodes here that you can view and we have them on YouTube as well under our name foreplay anime cast so you can view them in whichever format you please. Follow us as well on our social media, Facebook and Twitter, Facebook for Player Anime Cast, and Twitter at 4PP Anime Cast. So you can visit us there for updates on when we're streaming, when we're, you know, when we post our VODs, so on and so forth. And yeah, we'll see you next time.